And welcome to the BYB podcast that stands for the backyard boys. Backyard boys. <laughs> and tonight, for your special entertainment, we have a special guest. We have JJ, who's a clipper, podcaster, musician, writer, and all around devil's aficionado. Welcome, sir. How are you doing this evening? Great. How are you guys doing? Thanks for having me. Hell yeah, brother. Uh, anything else I forgot to put in there uh, we should add to your wonderful list of uh, of things about you? Um, I, I like to consider myself the National Hockey League's worst enemy. And uh, that's about it. That's actually it. Uh, right now I'm in a major battle between between me and MSG and the, and the uh, NHL. So... The MSG, that's an arena, correct? The MSG no, arena? No, no, MSG Network. The MSG Network themselves. Oh, okay. Because I uh, take their streams and play them for people who can't watch them. So they've been striking me. And, you know, I, I, I keep going around and popping up ba everywhere. So um, it's, a, it's a battle right now. Uh, so do you just try to flat out stream the, the channel on uh, YouTube? Just straight up. No, no, not the on entire... YouTube. I was streaming on on X, and I what I what I did was I would do a third a third party account, and then I, I stream the stream the game, and I also was making it um, transformative in a way where I made my own commercials when the commercials came on, and I would pop up things on the screen, you know, using some a, a program similar to, similar to Streamyard. So, um, you know. Uh, it, people loved it and people love you know i would get messages every day thank you so much i couldn't see it because they bl blacked it out in this area or i live in this country or that oh and uh yeah you know, yeah so that was no as the a sharks fan right. yeah like i'm a san jose sharks fan and yeah if you live inside the area then when it comes on uh like nbc sn that's right. then you know it was like out. that yeah the sports network uh nbc uh sn the sports network would black out uh which is weird because i guess they just want you to buy Relax. tickets to the arena but then again if you if you live kind of far away that's like or if you're on the you outskirts of for, the area one of their streaming services yes they want you to buy the nhl package or the, right. so the what NBC i was doing package. was was uh skipping that for everybody um that's what i call that's how i i, I represent it as we were just skipping all that and letting them watch it on on X because X was allowing me to do it. So I, I was doing it until they stopped me, and uh, they stopped me a few, about a week ago um, with the cease and desist. So we're at that point. Cease now. and deceased. Yeah. So that's where I'm at with them and right yeah. now. And if you want to find JJ, check out all of his links. There's his uh, Twitter and of course his YouTube channel. Uh, mostly clips of the Devils, New Jersey Devils hockey uh, team. Uh, yeah, what, what's going on this season? What's exciting about New Jersey hockey? Uh, firing and trading everyone on the team. So that's about it. 
that's 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 the big news in New Jersey lands. Even though I'm in New York, I'm a big you know I'm a big New Jersey fan. Um, uh, it's not it's not a good season for the Devils. So there's a lot of tension, which has brought me a lot of attention. Sexual uh, with uh, sexual mm-hmm. and and non sexual. There's a lot of asexual people um, in the Devils fan base. And um, anyway, and you know I'm not going to even get into that. But uh, yeah, I've I've brought some some bad attention with some takes, you know, because if you, a lot of the people on Twitter these days are kids, and um, they 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 have a crush on the players. So if you don't like if a player plays bad, they you know report they start reporting you. So I get reported by everyone all the time. So it's a battle between really? me and getting reported. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, my sharks are kind of in the same boat. They suck, suck, suck this year. So um, Yeah, the Devils and the be... Sharks just made it traded goalies, actually. There you go. Yep. Right. Um Yeah, so you're the biggest threat to hockey. I, I will I would have always thought it would be like hot warm weather. The blacks. Well, they're, they're indoors. We were, we did have this actually you know the this season the Devils had the stadium series at MetLife Stadium which was a great experience but um, other than that it's been downhill for the Devils it's the I have to admit and hope no one clips it but the Rangers are in first place and they're the best team in the in the East so I have to you know I I gotta admit it you can't you can't deny the facts right oh yeah. Yeah, we had a uh, we did the stadium series like 2018. I'm thinking uh, they played at Levi Stadium, the and Ducks, uh, right? they, no, the, the uh, Sharks, the Sharks. No, I mean the the Sharks played the Ducks. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Um, and they had John Fogarty singing the intermission, which was pretty. Oh, uh, cool. we we had the um, the the Jonas Brothers was a, was the opening act. So we got, you know, you got to, we got to get there late. Thank God. Yeah. Yeah. John Fogarty is from San Jose area. So he's always right. been the Jonas fan. brothers are in New Jersey. You would think maybe they try and get uh Springsteen or Bon Jovi, but no, the Jonas brothers for all the little, the little kids now they, 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 they pander to children these days. It's, it's sad. Uh, Granny, they actually even have ice skating rinks down there, don't they? Have you ever been ice skating, Granny? That just popped in my head. Now I'm super curious to know the yeah. answer. <laughs> have I ever been ice skating? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I look like Michelle Kwan out there, bro. I like. I'm just fucking. T- I'll tear that son of a bitch up. Just you could do a, You could do a triple, triple lux or whatever the fuck. All that weird shit. No, just yellow face. It's just yellow face. I like. I fall down a lot, That's but it. like I, I'm in yellow face the entire time. That's all he needs. Ten, where, ten, where, ten Granny, where, where, where are you? Board. Where are you, Granny? I, Why would I, I tell you, dude? Like, I, you came in here very aggressive, and I don't even know who the fuck you are. That, that that's was a, my that's thing. A, that's a good point. Just asking. Hey. Oh, okay. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah I, I had no idea you're like we fought like we had we had a verbal altercation one time something to do with uh get, rest in peace kevin dumbfuck and uh no 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 don't rest in peace kevin dumbfuck do not rest in uh rest in hell go ahead granny keep okay. going I, uh, yeah, your yeah, boyfriend, yeah. your boyfriend Kevin Dumbfuck, who you love so much. Why don't you go ahead and talk about him some more? You queer. <laughs> go ahead. But you can't even ride a toboggan. You're fucking watching hockey. Anyway, um, uh, so <laughs> Kevin Dumbfuck, yeah, no, I, I, so you, apparently you and I had some kind of problem in the past. Like I don't, I don't recall this. Like a lovers' quarrel. Uh, what? Go ahead. It was a love. It was a lovers' know. quarrel in a way. <laughs> it, no, what 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 happened was uh, like um w- well it was said backstage I'm not going to say that but um w- you were leaving comments on my, one of my old YouTube thing about like cuz I I wore the mask and some like there were some comments that I remember about you know um I'll do something if with the, with or without the mask or something like that I don't remember exactly what you said it was you know a year ago when uh, everyone was going through it it seems like so uh 
Yeah. All right. Yeah. But, no. I, I, what I will say is that sounds on brand. I don't enjoy people right. in masks, and somehow I do a fucking show with a piece of corn. Uh, <laughs> but I've seen, I've seen I've seen them and shit. You know what I mean? But uh, no. Yeah. The mask thing. Like I, I think that uh, it's it's a cheap gimmick. You know. And I just I just really was. can't stand cheap gimmicks. Yeah. And I'm glad that to was see the point you on well, well, I, well, I was on Kev. I was on that Kevin's mean, show without the mask get too. The fucking bit, bro. I didn't get no, the I, bit. I, Sorry, I, dude. I, I understand it. That's why I dropped it. That's why oh I dropped shit! It. You know, so yeah. So I, I don't know. You know You're starting off on a you know a little bit of a rocky time because no one here likes Kevin Dumbfuck, uh, except for Granny, who's a total true. piece of shit for that yeah, exact fact. I like it. <laughs> Well, I don't Fair. I mean, I'll be. A, I'm a piece of shit for a lot of stuff. I, I don't think that's one of them. You are. A I, I agree though. with Granny. I don't think Granny likes Kevin Dumbfuck either. No, I do I like Kevin Dumbfuck, but I don't think See? I'm a piece of shit for that. Okay. No, you. I mean, you're a piece of shit for a lot of other reasons, but that just is like the cherry on top, yeah. of course. Is it? Yeah, that's the maraschino, dude. Right there on. Yeah. It it right on the top of that goddamn cake. Yeah, so you remember the entire lore uh, about Kevin Dumbfuck going to Rochester and peeing all over obnoxious John's clothing. Poor guy. I feel so bad for him, and he still laughs about it to this day. Good, you know, good on him. Good yeah, on him. Uh, I don't know if you keep up with OJ and Cardiff and Tukey and yeah, all those I guys, do. but they're crushing it now, man. Oh, I, I, I love him. I, I, I think OJ looks more like a butt crack, but I still love his, his, you know, his, uh, whatever you want to call it. What do you call anal it? Anal orange. Yeah. It's it, like Asian like orange. Anal orange. Yeah. Or... Yeah. I, 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 I actually, I'm a bit, I'm a big Cardiff guy. Cardiff's great. You know, he eats his own cob, right? Well, that's why he's great. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, that's what makes him great. You're, you're, you're... <laughs> You're big on cum, eating your own cum. Yeah, I mean everyone everyone does it. Yeah, That's we're, not true. we're actually trying wait, to do wait, like no. a. Wait, we're trying wait. to we're trying to get Granny to do it on stream and like raise money for it, but uh, it's gonna. How much is that gonna cost, Granny? <laughs> for me to eat my own cum, dude, I don't I think there's a dollar amount. There is. Who the fuck Siri just went off on eating cum, dude? <laughs> oh, I'm gay, and I really like oh, cum in my mouth. Awesome. Siri's yeah. on it. Well, my Siri is especially gay, and uh, gay curious, bi curious, whatever you call it. It just heard cum and just started fucking talking. It went off. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, have you been jacking off to audiobooks, bro? <laughs> Speaking of jacking, uh, Uncle Jack wants to know, but does Cardiff eat ass? The serious question. Oh, uh, um... I don't know. Depends on who's. Yeah, I, I would all say I it's, it's not Cardiff. Yeah. I, all I know is what he's admitted live on um, several shows, and that was him eating his own cum. Let me get in there. Let me. Do you eat ass? <laughs> Wait, what's... <laughs> April... <laughs> Didn't uh, he, he didn't uh, Silent Mike like, have that picture behind him the other like a week ago? I think everybody's I mean, had him. it up a little bit lately because it was a big deal in the entire double verse. Uh, yeah, it, it got good coverage, uh, even yeah. though she doesn't have very good coverage as far as clothing no. goes. <laughs> <laughs> was she showing Where off her tattoo? Yeah, yeah, she was. Coverage. Yes, yes. Good eye right? on that Dinner one. With the <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're sick it like a lizard. <laughs> Quit picking on her. Quit making her do things. That's totally inappropriate. Okay. Uh, but this, you can eat all spot. you want. Go ahead and eat that shit. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Finger it. Finger it. Taint finger it. it. <laughs> Very inappropriate. Pickle, pickle the taint. We're doing untoward, untoward <laughs> Wednesdays. I can't even reach down there. I... Yeah, no approves. <laughs> um, all right, so so you guys met through Kevin Dumbfuck uh, Discord or what? Like a show? 
Kevin had a show, uh, what is it, Why Do I Podcast? And I went on as a guest with the mask on. I was trolling Kevin. That was my that was my intention, but um, it didn't really work out. Um, and uh, yeah, some interactions happened, uh, but we don't all remember. Did I attack details. you? No, Did I attack no, you? I would attack. Did well, I you verbally, can't. verbally attack? Did I verbally attack? Well, like, like a admit, tiger. Like, like, like a comment or yeah, a com in a comment or something, but nothing, nothing that, like, me. um, you know, uh, made me want to I I, blow my brains out. Or... No, I, okay. First of all, uh, well, I hang out with them all the time and that's how I feel about it. Uh, you're having someone's those brains have to be blown. Fucking like seek help. No, wait, did I end up, was I on screen or was it just in the comments? Did I end up going, you're a fucking idiot? Or like, no, it, no, I, I, no. Like, okay. no, 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 Thank no, no, it was just, just, com just comments. That's all. And, uh, and, 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 uh, Lemmy, you know, Lemmy and, um, it was also Gina. Um, and there might've been a few others. I don't, I don't remember much. I just remember names. And, uh, yeah, uh, we. They, I mean, we do hear that up. a lot. We, uh, like people say that all the time. They're like, "I was on a show with Granny. Who's that?" Like, and then they're like, "Yeah, not memorable. That that's common, common theme." <laughs> well, nothing. I I I, I honestly <laughs> was going through my own thing, so we all had our own, you know. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, I got to give credit where credit is due. So the other night I did tell granny that this is not an antenna, that he's stupid and blah, blah, blah. He's an idiot and he's dumb and he's always wrong. Well, folks, I kind of, I mean, we'll, we'll do like a, we'll meet halfway cause we're kind of both right. Um, but this may be one of the very few times that you even had a chance of being correct. So, I did look this up. That is the, uh, and whatever in question, the antenna in question. Uh, yeah. That's not okay. very helpful having that thing over the top of it. Let me do this. I hope Carl Winslow's ghost yeah. comes back and just fucking boomerangs the shit out of you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, is he dead? I didn't even know that. Ghost of Uncle, yeah, yeah. Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil. It, no, not Uncle Phil. That's fucking Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Carl Winslow was from. Um, I just Family called it matters. Urkel. Family matters. Family yeah. matters. Yeah. Did I do that? Yeah. And Die Hard. Uh, <laughs> okay, so this is not an antenna. It's called a wind antenna, which means it's 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 made for wind. And uh, like cruising, so it's called a Wintenna, for uh, okay. because they mount them on Winnebagos. <laughs> it's a Winnebago antenna, but it's also for television. So I don't know how correct you were because you were thinking radio, and it's actually called a Wintenna, not an antenna. But I'll still give you partial credit, just like your teachers did in uh, elementary school before you dropped out. Sounds to me like I he mean, was it's right. It's an antenna. It's, it does the same it's thing. It's fucking antenna, yeah. But yeah, no. It, Derek, I mean, it's a wind antenna, but you, go ahead. You guys. Being, every part of Derek's being cannot say, Granny, you were correct about this. Partial. <laughs> par I, get, I said you were partially correct. I said you were partially correct. I'm giving you partial yeah. credit. That's more than most of your teachers ever did for you. I feel like I'm getting pushed through seventh grade again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not gaslighting, Colin. That's not true. This is not what's happening here at all whatsoever. Gaslighting is uh, not real. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> true. Gaslighting is not a real thing. It, it, <laughs> it was never in a book or a movie. It's It's not. It's in none of those places. You won't be able to find it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it is a perfect boomerang. It is wind resistant. They do mount them on Winnebago's. Uh, Wintana, close, 50-50. I'll meet you in the middle and say, 
We're both right, and we both rule. <laughs> no, you, the, the, all right. This is called coping. All right, play the fucking clip. There is no clip. This it's a picture, you idiot. Oh. <laughs> it looked like it, uh, was, it, was, it, was, it was a play there. there was Every, a everybody in the world was just si fucking thing. No, no, no. All right, here I'll help you out. Does that make it better? Does that make you feel better? It's gone now. You don't have yes. to worry about the video. I, I push play on the video. It's a picture of a of a. I don't know why it has a play button. Honestly, that is kind of odd. But it was that on Reddit, really awesome. so maybe that's the problem. <laughs> um, I agree with Mr. Z. I really do. Zeke, Mr. Mr. Z. He said, "Y'all are y'all are both tards." And then, goddamn, if a statement wasn't truer. <laughs> Why are you putting that on me? Why would you put that on me, Z? That ain't nice. Uh, Uncle Jack, two dollars. Thank you, Uncle Jack. Uh, Granny, can Carl Weathers beat Rock? With uh, Dwayne Johnson? That's what I'm guessing. Can you, I mean? Can you smell what the question is cooking? Come on, guy. What? Let's what get Carl Weathers? Mm. Carl Weathers is a dead black man. Um, I no, he not. said what? No. He said what? Carl Weathers, like what movie, right? Like what era of his life? Yeah, because you know. I mean, we talking Rocky or what's the other ones? Predator, right? You Predator, right? right like I think, that Carl I think he was. I think he was Lando. Uh, Lando <laughs> too, <laughs> wasn't he? Lando. Yeah, Cal he was Lando Calrissian, yeah. bro. Yep. He fucking. Stopped. He was Dave Lando. What? He's, he's been. I'm not even gonna say. That. No, he was that sneaky old black man that was in space. Hey, Action Jackson was everybody. one. I think we already looked at all this before. Uh, good times, 1974. Yeah, he was on The Mandalorian. Wow, who would have known that? He was, yeah. Really, that piece of shit. Yeah, he just died February 1st, so I guess that's not even two months ago now. Uh, yeah. yeah. He, uh, he, literally, he literally just died a month ago? Yeah, I remember him dying. I just, I think we even talked about some of the movies. It was, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Happy Gilmore. Right, that's the big one. Oh, right. That's the <laughs> one. And with, from that's Happy Gilmore, he beats The Rock for sure. That, that Carl Weathers. Uh, it's like little Nick, little Nicky. I don't remember him, little Nicky, huh? Oh, Probably I remember small, him. Small. And he was the blind guy. He was the blind fucking guy. No, that wasn't him. That was the uh, that was All the right. dad from Friday. Wasn't he in heaven when Nicky like went up to heaven or whatever the fuck? Yep, I'm I'm looking so, up right yeah. now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The blind right. guy was the dad from Friday. I forget his name. He's dead. It's too. Friday. It's we ain't got baby. nothing to do. Witherspoon. Uh, John Witherspoon. Yes, that's John Witherspoon. There it is. There yeah. it is. Yep. You got him. it. Wait, hold on. Colin nice. might be right. No. How many blind people were in Little Nicky? I thought the that there there was a Quentin Tarantino was in that movie, but no, he was. The fucking dad from Friday was selling shit, and he had little Nicky's flask, and was trying to sell it back to him. That sounds more like the jerk. You sure? I'm positive. Yeah. I have no take on this because that was the I thought that was the worst Adam Sandler movie, and I watched it once and never saw it again. I have no memory of this movie. You didn't see oh, the one where he played his own ones. sister. Well, Since. no, that at that at, before that yeah. happened, I already had okay. that opinion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because they were way, way worse after that. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. Uh, Carl Finley says blind guy. Colin Madden says blind yeah. preacher. That's right. Yeah, I was wrong. Yeah, uh, Quentin Tarantino was the blind preacher, uh, but the guy, the the dad from Friday, was trying to sell little Nikki's flask back to him. Forget what he said. He had like the funniest line in the fucking movie, too. That comment was right. It was what's his name. Yeah. Yep. 
And uh, what's uh, Fonzie was good in that too. Oh, he was great. He was great in the um, uh, what's the football one? I can't remember the fucking Water Boy. Water Boy, yeah. Yeah, as a coach. Uh, yeah, he's in Water. that show Barry. I don't know if you guys have caught any of that on HBO. Barry. HBO still. You know, oh. one of Chops' biggest idols is Fonzie. Uh, uh, what 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 is his real name? It's something fucking like. What is his real name? Holy shit. What an Henry Winkler. Oh, yeah. Henry Winkler. Henry Winkler. Cover Henry, yeah. Henry Winkler. And Chops and him Henry. identify a lot because of the dyslexia. And so. Do we? He's got I, dyslexia I, I, as well? Yeah, and he writes children's books. Bless Chops, it. what's your fucking excuse? I need to yeah, but if you haven't seen Barry, uh, you got to go check it out. But definitely uh, Henry Winkler right there. Boom. He's in it. He Barry was also Burton on that show is... on Adult Swim, that fake uh, hospital show. Do you ever, did you ever see that show? Where they Children fake, hosp- like a, Children's Hospital? Children's Hospital. Yeah. Yeah. That it was too. fucking hilarious. You remember that one? That was oh, one yeah. of the best shows that was ever on. It and really it just was. disappeared. Yeah, yep. it was so good. Wow. <laughs> Someone remembers. Thank God. Hell yeah, had that guy from Hot Tub Time Machine in it with the weird yep. tuft of hair. I forget his yep. name. Oh, that Who was such that? a good show. It's, I got to look it up online now. I'm gonna make sure. I'll I'll find it. Is that the one? Uh, all place? right. That is it. Yes. Yep. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yep. Going way you back. Remember that? Morning. Yep. Absolutely. I haven't thought about that in fucking years, dude. It just popped up in my head just now, and I was like, "Wow, that I, how I, that was my favorite show. I loved it. It was so funny." Old adults, so a way back machine. Yeah, holy shit! Oh, you guys probably like Scrubs then too, didn't you? Yeah, I love Scrubs. No doubt. Oh no! Boo! No, I like the movie. I lie. I lie. I didn't watch Scrubs. I was just trying that to be cool funny. and not admit that I liked it. <laughs> but uh, Comedy Central, all those shows were fucking awesome back in the day. Comedy Central had some slappers, some good shit. They don't make them like they used to. They'll never Literally. make them like they used to ever again. Mm-hmm. Look at us sounding old. <laughs> Unfortunate. Unfortunately, oh, let's go back to the days. All right. I just want to go back. Oh, look to at like this. 20, this might work better. 20, uh, oh, there you go. See, it's right there, front and center. All we had to do was get rid of Granny so that real hot action would happen. Uh, yeah, what? Yeah, suck on her finger a little bit. Like, yeah, that would be so. Like yeah, <laughs> and lick her finger. <laughs> you know where that finger's been, don't you? Yeah, it doesn't taste very good. Tastes like shit, maybe. I'm going to come. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Uh, Give it but speaking of uh, April, I don't know. Do, do you guys, do you still watch Still Toe moderators? Uh, Lemmy and Granny are moderators for Still Toe. Did you know that, JJ? That's not true. I've still I've, to this Granny's very day. I've seen and yeah, Stevie yeah. Lou. I I and Stevie Lou. Lou. And all you guys are, right? Chops? No. No, I just watch. I'm a watcher. Yeah. Nice. I, yeah. I. I, I mean, I didn't listen today, but yeah, I, I uh, yeah, I'll catch it. You're such a bitch. Oh, I said that out loud. I thought <laughs> I was muted. Yeah, Sorry I know, that. and you're a piece of shit. But uh, I wanted to get back to the Adult Swim shit real quick before you move to uh, this gay shit. Jesus, um, privacy. No, we want to talk about April and her proclivities and whatnots. Go ahead. Uh, well, it actually correlates. Uh, you know what show I shamelessly watched that I enjoyed Shameless. on Adult Swim? Cassie <laughs> McGee. Cassie <laughs> McGee. Cassie <laughs> McGee was funny. Have you ever seen that there? Cassie McGee? Nope. Mm-hmm. It was, it I was seen, uh, I, I've seen Bobby McGee as sung and performed by Janis Joplin on stage. It was, uh, yeah, no one cares. That's, in, that's, uh, it, in, that's it was, impressive. It was the reverse of you, right? It was just a torso that could walk around that was an ass and also a cop. And it had, like, guns and shit. And that's it was cool. I don't know, it was fucking whatever. <laughs> yeah, they, you could have gone any, anywhere with that. You could have you said, I'm like Joe in... Um, 
in, in the family guy. I'm in a wheelchair and a cop, or you could have been cool and complimentary, but no, you went that route. Cool. Thanks, bud. Yeah. Yeah. S. McGee yeah. was good, though. It was that, that was like 2007 ish, uh, maybe. What's his name? Around. The first one? First name? Assy. Massey. Massey or Ass E? Ass. It was a goddamn torso in like there's Assy. no upper body. And it was just a fucking ass that walked around with guns on and was also a cop. And did he drank. end up classy in the end of it? No. So you Not can't say that he bit. went from assy to classy then. <laughs> I'll see myself out. <laughs> Hilarious. We walked them, folks. We oh damn it, came back. Jesus. No, that sometimes, was good. That was a good sometimes one. Sometimes dead is better. Ossie, I'll see myself out. Sometimes. Asa? That is better. Like, uh, you talking about John's mom now? Asa? Oh, shit. John's mom lives, like, around the block from me. Oh, wow. So, so yeah, you're on I live, like, Long five Island? From John. Yeah, I'm in Long Island. So I live, like, five minutes from John's mom's house. How long is Long Island? Is it really long? must be really long. <laughs> 700 billion. Um, trillion, 300 million. Close. Close. It is pretty long. That's so bad. That's such bad jokes. Bad jokes. I'm it's sorry, good. folks. It, yeah, yeah. You should be fucking ashamed of yourself. What about April and fucking Steel? Uh, no, Man? okay. I'm, I'm gonna go long. back to that, Granny. Thank you for circling uh, back. What a great segue. Unlike what you were doing before, which how how did the uh, what how did Assy? Oh, is that what you're trying to say? Like, because she's pointing at her ass. That somehow yeah. that that's a good segue to get into uh, Assy yes. is a good segue for April. It Immel. is called comedic genius, something you know nothing of. <laughs> wow. Blown away. Blown away here, folks. Hit it. Hit it. <laughs> uh, what is going on with our dear little April? I don't know if you've been seeing these clips coming out of her, mm -hmm. uh, but does she have white stuff in her nose right there? She usually does. Her I nose is so red know. there, too. Look, I don't see it. She was sick. Does she have sick. acne? Yeah. She does she have sick. acne? Oh, yeah. Look. She looks sick. Yeah. Everybody has like adult acne, do though, don't makeup. we? I mean, it's normal. But it, it, yeah. In the morning, hand I the, wake hand, up. Hand to God. Then I put on my makeup and I say a little prayer for you. Hand to God. No. She's hotter like that than she is with all that goddamn makeup on. I actually. That, that's just my personal opinion. I mean, I have. I, I am partial to like. Tr Wow, I shouldn't even say horrible things like trailer park trash. Um, but yeah, I am partial to uh, blondes from traditional trailers. Traditional trailer places. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Trad. Trad trailers is they call right. There you uh, go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, hot blonde tweakers are hot. I mean, let's let's all say it to ourselves. I'll say um, it out loud. But, uh, blonde <laughs> I mean, what, tweakers are hot. Is, Do we really is think this a thing? Drugs, guys? Do we really think that? Uh, the, well, that drugs. is the question, isn't it? The million dollar question, Chops, you'll be answering today. <laughs> I honestly just think her nerves get the best of her. Almost the entire internet, well, not the entire, but a good portion of a lot of people are after her right now, so she's on eggshells. And I know Aaron likes to say that they don't really care as, I mean, as soon as they get off of online or off live that they don't care and they don't look into this shit. They do. They got to. Yes. They admitted to. Why on several occasions. You? Yeah, okay, fuck yeah. In the same breath, Aaron Imholt on this show was like, we don't think about this shit at all. And then he goes, me and April were postulating after the show as to why you would be blah, 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 blah. Oh. Like, oh, okay. All right. Nice. <laughs> maybe he meant but menstruating. Opinion, maybe that's what he meant. Maybe. Maybe. It, it maybe. But in, in my opinion, she, she doesn't look like she's fucking tweaking. She looks like she's sick. She looks like she's fucking fed she up looks and like tired she's sick and somewhere she of... doesn't want to be. Yeah, she right. looks like she's yes. sick of being there. And also yeah. physically sick, which I don't fucking blame her. 
She's got to get up early. Never really above. found April that attractive, but I will say that the white trash choker, like that's the upgrade from like the middle school choker. Yes. Kind of hot. It's a little hot. It's a little hot. I'll, I'll, I'll give her that. I'll give her that. There was something I didn't about notice it, I but I, like, it I do like it. So it's an acne. She's got the big eyes uh, rolling. Let's see. We'll try to pause it on that. Yeah, she looks happy, like though. It? I mean, yeah, do, you, do you think like, she's just making all these faces, sitting there listening to Aaron talk, and that she just starts rolling yeah. her eyes and making faces? Is that what That's it is? That's probably what's happening right there. <laughs> She's like, yeah, Jesus. he's on like 15 minute goal shit after it's already been met. Yeah. And she's like, God damn it. An again, you motherfucker. Again, she's very, she's very anxious. She does talk a lot about how she has to sit in a chair for four hours. And I'm over here like, that's not that bad. It really isn't that bad. <laughs> if it's your it job. Is bad. Listen, it's no, it. chops. Listen, is it? I, I was watching, I've been watching this show for, for, I don't know, three years. Mm -hmm. Every time April tries to say something, notice Aaron will cut her off with something completely irrelevant. What were you saying, Lemmy? I mean, uh, did you guys ever hear about like uh, <laughs> the weather in Oregon today? I mean, it's very impressive. Uh, Lemmy, you were talking. Go ahead. <laughs> She's we'll 100% right. Something... But I mean, yeah, you know, what kind of cigarettes do you smoke? Let me like trailer trash cigarettes. Nice. Uh, were you were you saying something? Were you talking? I can't even remember now. It's been so long. Oh, let me roll my eyes oh you were saying people. something about Aaron cutting ladies off when they're trying to talk. I think that's what you were trying to say. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. Y'all yeah. believe in midget Bigfoots or? I do. Oh, God. What what I, what yeah, Why not stop, big midget foots? <laughs> they're, they're called <laughs> Wendigos. <laughs> oh, sh okay. A See right here? In this exact moment. In this exact moment, she's thinking about me. I know it. I know it for <laughs> a fact. She just sees she's she, just picturing little quads. <laughs> close your eyes every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> I, I get a little bit lonely. And I think about quad. Turn around. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> You oh, guys think she's yeah. trying to get away from the show? Because I've noticed, obviously, she's been sick for a little bit, and now she's she's laid off in a couple of days. Like, are, are they just trying to make this so she like she goes away for a little bit? You know, I've heard her say several times. I because I do still listen. I've heard her say several times. I'll just go get a normal fucking job. So it she, does she seem so a little much happier. Forced. Yeah, she would be. I think Remy I has to like, would love to Why not do that? Shit. Why not do that? She would be happier. It's not. It's extra income for the household, you know. And mm. I love you, April, but you are useless on the fucking show. You're just the blonde <laughs> that sits there. Yeah, discount jewels. Sorry, mm. not She's sorry. Not wrong. She's eye jewels. candy. <laughs> She's eye candy. Uh, Balls dip says uh, April will learn or quit. No, That's her the hat. Game. No. And he also said her happiness is her choice. No, it's not. It's Aaron's. It's Aaron's. It is Aaron's. Let's yeah, be it is Aaron's choice. Mm -hmm. Well, because if it, if it's up to him to get her off and make her happy in bed, then uh, she'll never be happy. Uh, Fawn Lebowitz, she's thinking I'm going to jump into this shallow pool so I can get out of this marriage. Uh, that does it's work. Deep, I can yeah, confirm. <laughs> it will end a, ma a marriage deep, really quick. <laughs> That's a deep cut. <laughs> Boom. When was the last Allegedly. time any of you saw her genuinely happy to be sitting in that chair? I mean, doesn't she look happy right there? Come on, guys. She looks fucking thrilled. <laughs> she looks like I would rather be on the couch with my blanket watching a fucking movie with a cup of fucking yeah. whatever, dude. Cocoa. Oh, uh, with a cup of flick your magic bean, maybe. With a fucking jar of pickled herring, God bless her heart. There are a good amount of times where I've seen her actually really happy. Is that when code she's for like uh, stink finger? Allowed to talk. <laughs> yeah, right. When she's I'm allowed like you to talk, chops. right? Yeah, yeah. I didn't allowed. like. I just allowed you to do chops like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Lemmy, is that is that a code 
like dipping your finger into a jar of pickled herring is that code for like finger banging is that another way to yeah. say it? <laughs> yeah no she actually does enjoy pickled herring i'm gonna I mean, finger watching, bang bang you i was Minnesota watching the other day and aaron like sent her to go do shit for him and then started like yelling at her because she was on the show. Like, I, was it I was about like, getting her a drink, getting him a drink, or something like that? Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it was something like that. Oh, yeah, like, no, they showed it on. Um, Melton showed it, and what what it was like. She came down and she was like, "Oh, I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee." And he was like, "Oh, you need to go get a cup of coffee, huh?" And then he was like, "I guess he texted her or wrote somewhere like, yeah, I I need caffeine too." And then she was like, "No, nah, actually, I'm fine." And then he w- and then he just kept going because he actually wanted his little seltzer with caffeine in it. Uh, so then he couldn't back off because he actually wanted it. And then she was like, "Oh, I'll go get you a seltzer." And he, and then what did he say? He was like, "No, that's no, no." Like he got all pissed off because she actually said it out loud so the audience could hear uh, the fact that he was the one that really wanted something caffeine to drink. Uh, Why is that? And a big it was deal? gonna be his fault. It's not, not hers. That's the thing. It's not a big deal. Yeah, okay. it's not. Like, it's it's none of my goddamn business. Y'all 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 do your fucking marriage. I don't give a fuck. But like, yeah. if you're doing it publicly, you are up for criticism. And, and, that's and, and that's, that, the, that's problem, the thing. Man. Yeah, you are up for criticism. But it's just caffeine. I'm missing a part. I'm missing something in the story. I'm missing. Well, something. he started yelling at her for not being on the fucking show because oh. he asked for some shit. Okay, gotcha. All right, <laughs> that's a what? Yeah. So she, I think she, uh, she was ending up having to go to the store to get him a uh, seltzer, caffeine seltzer, Maybe whatever they're called. Her. He timed her, dude. He's right. like, see he, how he long it just... fucking takes her. It is like, bitch. It was like it's like when uh, a black dude grits his teeth, teeth and is like, "Bitch, I fucking told you." You know what I mean? Like it, it was the same fucking thing. Only black guys do that. He set her up. <laughs> That's a black guy thing. Yeah. I, I thought that was a all guy thing, but okay. Uh, bitch, bitch, do I gotta pimp slap you? Do I gotta bitch. do I gotta show you the back of my hand again? My word. Bitch, I told you. Articulate John says he's a monster. He's not a monster. He's just a fucking uber nerd with tunnel vision and grandiose ideas. That's that's what he's not a fucking... Lemmy, when you say tunnel vision, is that code word for looking inside of a vagina? I look inside a fucking butthole, probably. Also, he I'm just is, trying to turn everything you say into some sexual comment. If you have no, he is an arrogant I'm not idiot. Like I like, I do enjoy the way he covers topics, but he is an arrogant fucking idiot. And, and those two things can be detrimental to your cause, especially when it is something like this. Uncle Jack says Gosh. he beats her worse than <laughs> Kenneth Pogue beats his wife, ex-wife, and trainees. Well, I don't think I, she's technically his ex-wife yet. And I don't, Uncle, honestly, Uncle, I think she could probably give him a run for his money. I have an announcement about uh, Kenneth Pogue. Actually, I'm going to be doing a podcast with my buddy Kenneth Pogue. We're going to do, be doing a podcast together. So I hope you all watch it when it comes out. It will be the time of your life. And mine, believe me. Uh, be that's kind of weird because uh, on Monday he announced that he's doing a new show, but he didn't say a word about you, buddy. Uh, what he's, okay. what was it called? Tranny talk or trans talk, something like that. I like he's going to be going out there. Uh, cock talk. What, is that what it was? You guys remember <laughs> he was talk? talking about he was going to go suck on lady boys' penises, and that was going to be the show. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't hear that part. Why does yeah, I hope know? you're into sucking uh, trans lady boy ding dongs because that's he what wants to he do. Announced. He wants to do a, a shroom cast. He called it where everyone drinks shroom tea. Oh, my buddy yeah. only wants to be on my and show. Then all take suck shrooms, on tranny penises. Said. We're talking about Kenneth Pogue, the guy who wants to change the world by starting a YouTube of his sobriety. 
wants he's to like genius. go on another podcast. He's a genius, drugs. Lemmy. He's a genius. <laughs> All right, let's not get fucking crazy. Bro. He's a genius. Let's not get fucking crazy. Okay. Kenneth Pogue is the star of the show. Uh, wherever you go, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, he uh, starred. Uh, he starred on Monday. Homeless. That's what Kenneth Pogue looks like. I mean, uh, no, no, he wait, owns a three thousand dollar home. Not many people do. That's true. And also, let me give you a, a basis just for the name, and then you can go ahead and take creative liberty on this. Uh, call it Penny Says. Because I've been says? the star of a show and kicked the fuck off. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> if you don't get yeah, it, you he, don't he get he it. Came back, he, I, I said, he, he said, I, I bought a house in Detroit for 3K. And I said, do they come with windows? And he said, all the windows are boarded up. <laughs> so, no, it didn't come with windows. That's That was the answer I got. Well, he's better putting. Uh, he's better off putting bulletproof windows back in anyway. So, that might be uh, a suggestion, or no windows, just cinder block walls. Just so walls. When the bullets start flying, they just hit the wall, and he he lives. Yeah, whatever part of Detroit he is in is not a good. Part the bad part. Sure. Yeah. What kind of part is it? Is there a good part? <laughs> I don't know. See, that was I, that I was about to get there because is there a good part to Detroit? Redbeard lived in Detroit. Oh, right. So not anymore. Yeah. What part of Detroit? The black one. Sure. Uh, They're all the black. <laughs> They're all the black one, Miss Producer. They're all the black one. <laughs> yeah, it's Detroit for God's sakes. Uh, all right. So we got more April footage to review. This is from to uh, recent, more recent. Um, and I stole this clip, so thank you for thank you, person. I stole this clip from. I hope you don't mind that I stole this and didn't even say a word to you about it, and just am about to play it. Such a good mood. What'd you say about the Vikings? I'm glad. Now? now my job in the next half hour is to not fuck up that good mood, and I'm gonna have a great day. <laughs> Watch him do it anyways. Oh, how That'd tragic hilarious. would that be? Look how at this tragic. poor little sad guy. I can't even read his name. I don't even. Sir Bosov. Why do you use that gay ass font? He's probably gay. Drugs are fun. Citizen M is right all along. Imagine being a fan of Citizen M. I certainly can't imagine. Imagine being that guy when you could be watching me be pretty and cute and funny watching I other would, hot girls. I would be swallowing uh, a, a rifle if I were Citizen M. What a gay. I would feel terrible about myself. Ugh. Wow. What a good day this is. Oh, it's starting off pretty good. I think I'm going to miss. Did he just suggest to someone that they should off themselves? That's not yeah. good. I don't think I cut. Uh oh. <laughs> no, I. Okay, so the main point of this clip is just how bubbly and poppily and bubbly, bubbly, how much movement's going on, how twitchy she is. Um, and also, I noticed her nips. Uh, don't anyone else notice that, though, please. It's my sparring date today. Why? I think I'm going to miss it. I just Why? feel like I have too much shit to do. Lick, like lick. what? I have a lot to do, but that's not me or you. I mean, I got a big. I got yeah. a, one big item on my checklist. Can I what get it done going before on sparring? Here? Obviously. Okay. Well, then maybe. Well, has okay. any of this made you think that you can't? Okay. What's fucking wrong with uh -oh. you? Then, yeah. Okay. Maybe do I can get. Shit. I can get sparring in. <clears throat> I mean, There's a couple it is. of hard speeches in there. I don't know about drugs, but drinking could definitely be involved. She's a lot more chipper than she usually is. I actually like this April. It's nervous overacting. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Because Aaron was like, you better, you've been sick for two fucking weeks. You better get the fuck oh. in there and start lifting your weight. <laughs> well, that ain't hard to do. What does she weigh, 80 pounds? I don't know. How tall is she? Yeah, she's she's, she's taller than height. Lemmy by quite a bit, right? And yeah, Lemmy's the smallest. So she's too super tiny yeah. then, huh? Wow. No, nah, she's like 5'7". She's, like, she's probably like 5'6", five, 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 Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. yeah so she don't weigh much. She's strong, though, dude. She was in a tank top. She got... She's got... She's got arms, dude. Yeah, she's got she's the guns. 
right, Long right. Cut. Yeah, I think. I mean, uh, yeah, she probably she probably manhandles Aaron in the sack, right? I would imagine throws him around like a little rag doll, Aaron's like a little bottle. bitch. I mean, just technically, getting cry. after it. Dude. Yeah, she wallers that thing out like you might say <laughs> yeah. that word waller out. Waller it out. Waller's his bottle out right on down to zero. But you guys can see where they uh that other people might think that this lady is on a bit of uh uppers. Sure. I'll say Adderall. You, if you sit here and you watch anybody for like whatever you could sit here and watch me if you like zoom in on my face and be like she's on something and just judge every look she if i like well you are on something you're i'm on stone. multiple things right now so yeah marijuana and that's why you you sit there uh forgetting what you're doing sometimes you just and then you start it's chatting in the chat and you're like <laughs> oh yeah huh i'm yeah. supposed to be on the show I'm start and stuff. Someone else's chat. Shot, in the, shot in the dark here uh, it, it, my guess would be Excedrin and caffeine, and the well, in that how they make meth. It, what? No, it's Sudafed. Uh, but <laughs> oh, Sudafed. Not, there you go. Not eat, let's not. It could be eat Sudafed too. Doesn't Sudafed meth. speed you up? Yeah, I believe there's caffeine in it as well. So I mean, that would be my guess. Yeah. She's probably on like Excedrin and the highly caffeinated. So she's jittery. I, I, but after I've met them, like I don't, I don't think that she's on any kind of fucking narcotics. Yeah. Schedule one. Uh, yeah. So that's you good. guys are covering for him, then, huh? I see how it is. Not covering. Yeah. It's well, that that's what happens when you hang out with moderators like Lemmy and Granny. They won't tell you the full story. I They'll just uh, cover up. I knew this was gonna happen. They're gonna be like, "Oh no, she's a fucking uh, steal to apologist." I'm really not, but like, if she looked like she was on drugs. I'd be like, yeah, that bitch is tweaking the fuck out. I've, I've been around tweakers. That's not tweaking. That's yeah. I'm sick and overacting because my husband told me I need to be more fucking uh, social on the show and not just a bump on a log or whatever. So sad, you know. Brighten up, you know. Be lively. I imagine that conversation was that. And Shake them tits. Wiggle that ass. Yeah. Jitties. And to be fair, she she did her job, I guess. Right? She 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 came out to the best seen, she can. Yeah, I'm not I'm not right. like a huge fan of that show, but I uh, you know I'm not like against. I don't hate them or anything. You know, I just don't watch it. But from what I've seen, um, it seems like she was sick, got sick, and maybe took some medication because she was sick. That's really all I can get from that. I've been around all kinds of drug addicts myself, so um, you know from my experience. That's what I see. Yeah, I've been around a lot of uh, drug lot addicts more. myself too, yeah. and myself. I've been around I will myself. Say this: it is funny how upset like uh, Aaron got about it, and then like yeah. the next day, this will it not out. happen again. I yeah. will make sure. Yeah. Okay, buddy. You, you, yeah. you go on that crusade. <laughs> yeah, and and then literally the next day talked about her being on drugs. Like he did it himself. Yeah, I, he does it every day. He fucking does it every day. Do it again. Yeah, I mean they you like know? the attention, even if it's like that kind of negative attention. And I, I mean, I think most programs do, in all honesty, just because if they're talking about you, then you're you're getting more views, you're getting more attention. That's. No press is bad press, right? Even bad press. Yeah, he does yeah, everything. Old everything. Old. everything. Uh, sure. You'll get in. Oh, people have seen me on a fucking Reddit page about my wife doing drugs. Winning. That's a thousand, couple thousand people on eyes on me. Exactly. All eyes on me, right? Yeah, but it it's not translating to into the numbers because I think that like most of his haters have realized that. Uh, Giving him the numbers just to hate watch him is like fueling him. So I and, and, and yeah, I look. I think most most people are migrating over to Melton in order to watch Steel Toe. And I, I'm not saying anything about your product, but it's kind of because you're being a douchebag, and, and, and dude. But yeah, in dude, what ways? In what ways are you saying kind of being a douchebag? I don't get it. 
kind of being a douchebag, like it, it, your your goal is met, and then you're still gonna be like, "Well, we can get ahead for the week." Shut the fuck up and do your show. Yeah, let your audience Shut bask up. in the in the relief and the winningness or whatever the fuck of like meeting your goal. Like, let them feel accomplished before you're like. Hey, we got fucking tomorrow's goal, guys. Why don't you get a head start on that? Why don't you shut up? That's crazy. Crazy. They have missed and, uh, and do the show. Crazy. They have missed the goal on Monday, and they they ac accomplished the goal the next day, and then they were trying to go for Monday's goal. I'm like, this is too much. Too much. I get it. You got to support the show. You got to keep it rolling and whatnot. But this they're back goaling and front goaling at, at the same time. That's crazy. It is like it, it it it's it's a bit too much, man. He's got to die. Like, if he dialed that shit back, I think he'd be a lot better. You know what I mean? Like, the goal doesn't fucking bother me until it's talked about. He does more goals than he does ad reads. And those yeah. people actually fucking pay him. Right. I, granny, you, I think you just hit on something. If he treated it like an ad read and just did it, like, every so often, I think that's forgivable. Because coming from radio, he, had to, he has to do commercials. We would be okay with that. Bring back Gilbert uh, Godfrey, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, where did you just go, Chops? You just took just a bit a of a break there. Oh, I had to go wee, and I had to refill my drink, and then... You went and took a dump, huh? No, no, I would never do that on the show. All right. I wait until Granny. after. That's Granny's territory. Well, no, you left the show to go do it. That's what, that's what happened. <laughs> yeah. Granny gets nervous uh, the second a show starts, and he has to go extricate the anal cord it's like clock nah, I just, I, I'm, a, I'm a big time pooper dude poop a lot we gotta have hobbies not all of us have colostomy bags Derek <laughs> is this true yeah, yeah I have uh, I have yeah. Crohn's, I gotta go change I have mine Crohn's here, disease guys and I almost had an ileostomy bag I'm lucky I don't I I've had four uh bowel resections Goodness. so um yeah, it's serious shit. But um, I I got lucky. They every time they told me you, you might wake up with an ileostomy bag, which is when your intestines are on the outside of your body. So I was scared shit. But luckily, I don't. I never got. You know, I got lucky. So. Mm. Uh, I mean, would that be cool to be able to watch poop going through your innards on the outside? That sounds. Well, what I learned was trippy. a lot of females were use, utilizing these bags that are connected to the front of their body to show the rest of their body on like Instagram and stuff. At that time, that was about five years ago. A lot of girls were, they were using colostomy, ileostomy bags as a as a modeling thing. So you know, and they were making money off of it. So I was like, that's kind of weird, you know. This. Oh yeah, so what's the new thing like on um Jim Stansel was showing this on In Hot Water that now they have all these ladies doing breastfeeding videos so that they could show their boobs Should like on YouTube yeah. shorts and TikTok yeah. and shit. That's so fucking that is so well, wrong and so many women aren't even breastfeeding real babies. Some of them are breastfeeding no, they're fake babies. Fake babies. My my, oh, my okay. niece showed me that. Titties. Like, Titties. Well, yeah, not that we don't like milk. titties that are nice and full of milk and all of that. They do look nice and full, uh, but yeah, also very weird. That's fucking weird. Creepy. As fuck. Creepy. If they yeah, were especially babies. when it is the real kid. Um, what if you only have one kid and he's like nine or something? And you're like, well, I gotta use him. He's the only <laughs> kid I got, so he's gonna have to suck on these titties so I can show the world my titties. Well, it seems like the kids that that happens to end up killing their parents. Usually, that's that's no, usually listen. the case. One one Deservedly. of them just got out of prison. I think I can go ahead and um, speak freely on this one because I am a female who has breastfed my children. Okay, go for it. There is Prove a difference. It. Do it right now. Go get one of them. And bring them in here. Oh, no, no fake babies. Shit. No, no. Listen, it's okay to take a picture of breastfeeding your child. That's totally okay. Even going so far as to posting it on your social media if it's fucking tasteful, because it's a beautiful fucking moment. The moment you sexualize tasteful, it all right. is fucked up. Mm -hmm. That's that's the line. That's it right there. That's what gets me. I'm trying to figure out what's so wrong about it. They are just breastfeeding. I'm just like, oh yeah, there's guys jack into this. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. And there's a there's a pretty like pretty like thick line there to that you've got to cross yeah. too. So you know, 
from just a, a like you said a tasteful breastfeeding shot i've seen my whole life i've seen them in magazines and everything and no one had ever I've had done a problem it. with it there's there's right, one so of me there you go so on my facebook if you want to go and no one it. ever said a word no one had a problem with it but now it's um you know now my 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 kids are seeing that while they're scrolling through their social mm -hmm. media at, at nine years old you know so well i, I guess like technically national geographics did it first right guys yeah I think I still have those, those magazines. What's that? Stuff? Yeah, the the girls from the Amazon forest, or the, they might be uh, stuck Africans. together. The, the, yeah, the, the pages one. might be stuck together. But the, those ones, yes, the black ones. Uh, right. Fuck you, yeah, all Z very creepy. You know? Why are Sorry, you yelling, yelling at our? Yeah. Why are you yelling at our chat? That's untoward. It's in my, it's in my nature. <laughs> True statement of the night. Uh, yeah, so Granny, did you just go take another dump? Jesus, dude, that's pathetic. Uh, which is a great segue also. Thank you for taking a dump so we can get to this clip. Uh, the next still toe. See, we're doing the still toe breakdown now. Pretty yeah. hard shirt. I love, I love it. Uh, yeah, so that's exactly what this clip is. I, I know that you guys are old school steel toe fans, so that's why I was curious about this. I wanted some inside oh, yeah, information. Quit trying, hold on. Quit trying to hold that shit over our fucking heads, dude. Because I, I know that you guys are some of the OG OG steel toe is. people. Granny, Granny still, still is. is a steel toe guy. Uh, oh, yes. Lemmy is. I watch it in the morning. She's on the fence. She's a uh, fence no, and you'll, Hey, listen, Yule Gibbons in the chat says everyone loves Steel Toe. And when you break it down to the basics. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're absolutely correct. Aaron is mm -hmm. a fucking huge douchebag, but I don't dislike him. I mean, I like whatever, man. Like, I, I'm not a douche like that. Uh, like, yeah, you, you are. And Aaron, Derek. <laughs> It's just I guess sometimes it's funner to watch through other people. Like I've, I'm sorry or whatever the fuck. To, like I love you, my steel toed like community or whatever. But I've laughed harder at Melton making fun of steel toe than I've ever laughed at steel toe. Ever. That's why I like Melton. Watching Melton. Mm -hmm. There, it's two very different shows, very different personalities. Melton definitely lands a lot more jokes. It's, his timing is great, even when he's not talking. He like he's developing a great joke. Uh, Aaron, it's it's more. I mean, still told in general, it's old school radio. Sometimes, if you just close your eyes and just imagine you can't see them, it's better. It really is. <laughs> they do audio yeah, only, they, also, right? You, well, the problem is with Aaron is that like he like. He goes way too old school radio, bro. Like, this was the same problem I had with Bubba the Love Sponge, right? Like, you can't, like, you can't fucking tunnel vision, like Lemmy brought up earlier. You can't tunnel vision straight into radio guy shit when you're not a goddamn radio guy. Mm -hmm, exactly. Like, you, you have to embrace the internet or get the fuck off of it. I think, I think he is. I think he is. Go on. I think he thinks he is embracing it, but yeah. I well, he embraces it. He he tries to do both. He tries he tries to like say I'm a radio guy, and the radio's just waiting for me to come back. While mm -hmm. in the meantime, I'll do this little internet show and hang out with you losers on the internet. Uh, but soon enough, I'll get the phone call and I'll be back on uh, inter uh, on broadcasting on some radio station somewhere. But uh, till we see that happen, it's how long's it been? Four years? Like it's the call's not coming, bud. Wow. It's, it's almost becoming Chad Zumok <laughs> timing. Yeah, yeah. The, the phone call is not coming. Rather than Comey has been dead for 15 years and I still haven't got my phone call. <laughs> yeah, speaking of which, we got some Tony Mazur in the back end of this. Wow, you want to see some really good radio. <laughs> Holy shit, that guy's good at radio. Woo! There's something about Tony why. that I'm fascinated Tony. by. Yeah, like this a... was fascinating to watch. Okay, like he's cool, just cool, cool. he's fucking paint drying. But right. other it's than that, deal. he's great. <laughs> other than that part, he's great. He does. I mean, he might be able to put a radio show together. 
Because hey, most radio is neutral. fucking boring. Person, I've, he's so neutral in everything. His voice, the way Vanilla. he looks. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And fuck no. you, I and he, paint he's doing an interview time. with Mike Morse. <laughs> So it's like two vanilla. Oh, no. It's two <laughs> scoops of vanilla, dude. Like beyond horrible. It was like, Dead like Ray oh, DeVito. Well. <sighs> yeah, well, we'll show. It. No, Ray's interesting. He's a, like, if you even wanted to say like lol cow, just because he's unaware of it, but maybe he is. I'm not sure how much he's aware of it, but at least he's interesting. Like the dude's off fucking kilter. So he's watchable, but like some of these dudes think they need to be on the radio, but they're NPR. You know what I mean? It's like, yes. NBC. Yeah. Oh, very good. Love One being day. a team with you. So Aaron gets naked to poop. So yeah, we're going to watch this. And then I had questions for Lemmy and Granny. Old school steel toe fans in the chat. You're more Why? than welcome it, to uh, I'm going to say it again. I'm going to try to fucking shame you tonight. The most that I can possibly do. Do you know, Granny? All right, here's what I need to do. You need to run the chat for a little bit. I need to go, or I'm going to pee my little girl pants. I want to talk about this Canada law. Oh, lie. that sounds like Chops. Chops said That's the same lie, thing. Ah, I just went pee pee. <laughs> he should have just said he's going to take a shit. He should have just said, I'm going to take a alive. shit. Yeah, he I'm going to take a fucking shit. But he's, he's a liar like, like Chops. <laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe you have a point. See, at least Chops hides his little Eddie Munster fucking hairline with a beanie. <laughs> and you, that's respectable. <laughs> I have some type of pride left. Well, one he wasn't. Hair by uh, one hair. Yeah. He wasn't wearing one of them fucking weirdo hats like like three out of the eight people we had on screen on Monday were wearing those weird. What do they call those stupid hats? Oh, the flip like hats. Kenneth, the no, Kenneth hat. They're like golf. Oh no, God! No, 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 no! Those Dude. the 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 Irish hats, whatever those fucking it, things. It, are. It's called uh, a yeah, the golf cap. Hat. It's a scully cap. Scully. scully. Oh, I know which ones you're talking about yeah. now. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah from the, the, the Xbox. The button, scully. button in the front. The button in the front here. Yeah, and fucking scully caps and douchebaggerism fucking seem to coincide a lot. <laughs> coincide. That's like uh. When uh, when when a homicide corresponds with what? Was that not the right word? Corsad. No, it's not a word. That's not a word. Coincide. That's maybe. a fucking. You no, know, that's a word. Coincide. Yeah, there you uh, go. I, I'll die on this fucking hill and a goddamn I like that tiger word, though. It's a mixture. It's a crossover. <laughs> because they keep saying, "Oh, it's to protect children," but what I'm hearing from a lot of people is it's. Oh, it's just throwing people in prison for disagreeing with the government. So I want to see what's going on. Two hours later. He'll be back in a second. I guess he's pooping or something. Are you pooping? <laughs> oh, shit. I thought you had your pants down still. Um, Another Bret Hart. Who shirt. was your favorite animal on the farm? <laughs> what do they mean by who was my favorite animal? Why is your shirt on backwards? Oh no. <laughs> oh my God. You guys. <laughs> oh shit. This is how you this know. Is... All right. So Melton said that that was totally fabricated moment. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys, Granny, Lemmy, what do you guys think? You guys are huge mm. Steel Toe fans, so you will probably know the answer to this. Go ahead. Good saying that. Um, also, I. <laughs> you know what? Why do you keep saying quit saying that? Are you not like he's embarrassed? He's fooled, not watching yeah. every morning. Okay, and I'm not a hu I'm not a huge fan of fucking anybody here but Lemmy. So, so and that, me too, me too. I, uh, damn you! Uh, you went to and, Minnesota, and, Granny. You, you went to the anniversary you. show. Yeah, grab I told you, like, like I really, I was like, I I can take it or leave it. I did. I said that. I I could take it or leave it. If we didn't want to go, we didn't fucking have to. Look you him. wanted to Look go. Look at him cope, dude. Look at him cope. Derek, I'll I'll cope. That granny cope. Let me <laughs> fucking melting over here. No, do I listen to the show? Yes, absolutely. I'm just busting yeah, your I, balls, dude. I know. <laughs> 
But I do, yeah, I listen to the fucking show. Am I a huge fan? No, I think Aaron's kind of a fucking douchebag. And I, I uh, was that I, was that a setup or was that real? Did that seem like a work? Is the word we use around here? Question. Kind of did seem like a work. I mean, she noticed it within point one seconds of him sitting down. She points it out, and that's kind of what Melton's. I'm not. He I'm, tricked me. I thought he had a different shirt on. Ah, there you go. Yeah, the Bret Hart. Okay, yeah. so and the main reason I know that Melton already covered this and whatever, I didn't want to like dwell on it, but he brought up a good point, which was four years ago he was on radio. But do you guys remember that uh, happening before? Him coming back into the room and them doing something very similar to that. Like, oh, look, your shirt's on backwards. Oh, you just must have gone and pooped your... You must have just went and taken a poopy. Honestly, it could it could be either way. But I wouldn't put it... I wouldn't put it past him either way either. Honestly. A work or it being on accident. Truly. Mm. I'm quite uh, neutral on that situation. And honestly, kind of dumb. I'll go 50-50. Kind of dumb on for that anybody part. to cover it, even Melton. It's the, what what low hanging fruit hits a shirt, and it was no, I, seconds. Yeah, and the, I don't really care about it, and that's why I don't even want to finish the <laughs> entire clip because it's kind of pointless and has been covered. But I was just curious, uh, you guys being huge still to fans like Granny keep saying uh, <laughs> the, the fact, saying that. No, it's like so you funny. being a huge fan and all, you might know the lore behind the uh, pooping bit. I don't know. Uh, what I will say is that there is naked. a possibility. There is a possibility, right? Because he's a radio guy. They like to set up bids. He's also a fucking wrestler. Right, because in a radio um, station, they go in there and they uh, take a dump and take their clothes off, right? In a radio station? Yeah, so I don't know. Like, it, it could it have been a word? Yeah, probably. I mean, be trying to translate it. Yeah. I'm just saying the possibility is there. Like you, as Aaron, you can't really deny it because you're a radio guy and a fucking wrestler and a hat comedian or whatever. So like, it like it, 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 it it's impossible to fucking get yourself out of that situation. Which I don't watch Melton. I I just don't enjoy his cadence and shit. But uh, I do. It, I didn't ask. Uh, but what I will say is, it, it there, there is it, it, he does make a he, spit it he, out, he, God damn it, Granny! What yeah, it, it's yeah. like five hours oh, we've been talking about this. Of it. Jesus Christ, Christ dude! Right. Are you can you talk up, me slower? You are rambling like a motherfucker. <laughs> Do you just want like the spotlight on <laughs> you for the maximum dumb, amount of time tonight, or what? Power? My yeah, so I, what I wanted, the next thing I wanted to talk about was the Dow um, and like the ups and downs of the stock market lately. I think that they're uh, prepping. It does for go up and it does come back down, doesn't it? It does do that, don't it? Do that. Just like the climb, it's always been changing. It yeah. do do that, don't it? It do be doing that. Jesus Christ, <laughs> you're worse than uh, Zach Waldman or. JT Thomason, CJ Thomason, or whatever. James Thomason. Are you complained about those that? guys taking forever to get to the point, but look at you go. You just want the spotlight, don't you? Uh, yeah, so. You, you, <laughs> did you guys freeze? What the hell happened there? Jesus. That's what he does. You can't. It's no, I, I intentionally didn't answer you because I knew it would make you and Chops both. Bag the fuck out. I hate him so much. <laughs> well, I just thought the entire screen froze for a second there, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, so Quad and I both hate dead air. I'm getting down, down to that. Right? Yes. No, dead air ain't that big of a deal as long as you have something something important to say at the end of the long silence. Uh, or you can use silence as an effect. Melton does that uh, very masterfully. Uh, yes, it typically that. comes with yeah. him making like faces to go with it, like mm -hmm. very well. exactly like that. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> and that's the that's the that's the comedy and the humor of him that I love. And it's no, I do too. Yeah. Between the two shows, 
whether you're a Melton fan, Steel Toe fan, and you know, I think Yule said if you're a Melton fan, you're automatically a Steel Toe fan. It's two separate forms of comedy, and you just it's one or the other. You got to have it. I don't know. There is a difference. Yet yeah, you can be a fan of Melton shitting on Steel Toe, but I don't consider myself a Steel Toe fan anymore. I love to. It there's. I mean, it is what it is. It's not sad. It is what it is. It's not for everybody. I. I don't hate them. I don't wish ill on them, but I am having a very good time watching people shit on them. So I want them around. They want the people who shit on them want them around. I wouldn't necessarily call them fans. You know what I mean? I would consider them fans of the content they consume, whether that be through Melton or Red Bar or whomever. Uh, you given says this. I consider you a steel toe fan. I'm a fan of steel toe community. Too. I love the people. I love the I love the chat. I've I've grown to absolutely fucking love you guys. That's love right. Get your community. get your tickets to Deerfest, not to uh not to <laughs> Cheetos. No, we don't want you fucking assholes there. Get the fuck out. No, shut up. We're not Go telling camping. you guys where it's also, Aaron at like it, oh, he almost begged for this. Like he almost begged for it, and his hypocrisy. Once it got too much, is what changed the entire dynamic of the direction he was going in. And I get it. Like, I if it was affecting my wife too, like that and shit. Like, I I understand why he went in the direction he did, but at the same fucking time, like he begged for it. He like he literally fucking begged for it. Hello? He begged for what the attention that the internet's giving him right now? No, yeah, nobody knows he, what you're talking about. You just said words, but nobody begged, even knows begged, what you're talking he begged about. For people, he begged for people to fuck with him. He literally fucking cocked off. Oh no, what he words. what he did was he went out there and did that old school fucking uh Jocktober shit where he fucked with people. And he wanted to get some attention, and uh, unfortunately for him, it was the wrong kind of attention because it was the attention that came back at him. And once, once like Chad and Melton and all these people were like, "Oh, you want to fuck with us?" and the real guys came out of the woodwork and started fucking with him hard, then he was like, "Oh, I guess I didn't want to play rough with the boys." Uh, right, yeah, can it. you guys stop messing with me? And now he went from like he went from I'm gonna fuck with you to. Uh, I'm a victim instantly. I hate that shit. I hate the victim. It, yeah, stuff. it was like a switch, dude. It, it really was. And like looking back, yeah, I saw it. I was I like, did, damn, bro. I, I just he wasn't ready for families yeah. and like no, real life prepared. shit to be. Yeah. He was yeah. not ready for real life stuff to come be his thrown response, in his face. Honestly, his response is a normal response for any concerned human being. You know what I mean? He shouldn't have yeah. gone and poked the bear is the is the issue. You know what I mean? It doesn't yeah. matter how Aaron was prepared, to, which he was not. It's not Obviously. like YouTube's not Twitch or the radio. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not like Once calling the radio with a prank call. They can't call you back. This is this is real life. But not real life. But enough real life to be dangerous to your real life, dude. You can't, yeah. The, somebody can reach out and touch you. That yeah. that's the difference. Yes, and, and, and they can affect your life, right? But like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't disagree with him because April was getting upset about it and shit. Because I know that's what happened. April got upset. She was like, "I can't handle this. I don't want to be on fucking air and shit. I don't want to do this." Right? And, and I, I completely understand. At that point, you go take two weeks off and let me deal with it, and you fucking double down, and you start going after them. Hmm. It, it, that is the only way to fucking deal with it, bro. It, 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 and then so I fucking not I do anything like... Uh, that's my personal opinion. I, it We're doesn't starting have to fight the, the right chat. One. See what we do when we talk Melton versus Stilto. Everybody in the chat starts fighting. We love it. Bring the hate. Bring the hate. Kill each other in the chat. That's wonderful. We love it. Keep if that I going. Can, if I can, if I can speak on this with 
trying to keep emotion out of it, which, cause I'm an emotional bitch, dude. I'm dramatic as fuck. I'm on the ass end of my period, dude. I've still got hormones and shit. You know what I mean? So if I can keep uh, emotion out of it, how do you make a hormone? Able to. How do you make a hormone? You spot. You don't pair. Yeah, just spotting. You don't pair. How do you make a hormone? You don't pair. Come on, guys. Hey, Frankie. Hey, Frankie. Hey, Frankie. Hey, what up, buddy? You're the man. Are you doing great so far? Holy crap, you're in a bar and it's quiet there. I can barely hear anything because it's so quiet in there, bud. Frankie, why is this... Why, uh, why is it so quiet in there? It's karaoke tonight. Uh, Frankie, I got a question for you. Are you excited for uh, Gino Biscani and Carl to come stay at your house on the uh, solar eclipse? No, they're coming. No, no, they said they were gonna. They said they were gonna come to your house, Frankie. No, is your is your house a Holiday Inn? All day in Sydney. Yeah, they, they're gonna they're gonna come visit you here really soon and stay with you and your uh, family. Wait a minute, at the holiday in Sydney. No, it's your house. They're coming to your house right now. Not true, not true. I repeat, not true, Frankie. This is real. No, this is true. They're coming to see you. They're going to steal your Wi-Fi. They said they're coming to take your Wi-Fi from your house. Wait a minute. Have you ever had anyone steal your Wi-Fi, or do you just steal everyone else's Wi-Fi? And at the holiday in Sydney. <laughs> is that all you're going to say? Right. You're just going to repeat that over and over and over? Okay. God, Frankie, come on, bud. You got to work with us here. You can't big time us like that every time. Such a good guy. We love Frankie. All right. That was our uh, Frankie McDonald minute. We didn't even get we didn't even get any uh, weather reports from Canada, unfortunately. All right. Uh, Chops is still here, and he's a professional right, broadcaster, just like Steeltoe. Absolutely. Uh, so we're gonna move on from one special broadcaster to the next uh we did steel toe and now we're gonna do tony Mazur. we gotta think of a name for the guy like what rhymes with Mazur? was um I, nothing uh, right Mazur. what rhymes with er oh Oh, oh uh, yeah. Missouri, the black one. Oh, I better not say that. Wait, I guess there's other words that rhyme with er. <laughs> oh, uh, how about gayer with Missouri? Bam. Got him. You did it. You did it we Quan. did it. We did it. It happened. We're doing it. It's happening. Uh, yeah, so. Tony Mazur does this show. I don't even want to show. The, okay, let's look at it real quick. Uh, let's see. 30 views 18 hours ago. Wow, 83. Just, this guy's killing it. 83 subscribers. I mean, for a guy that's been on the radio forever, he's got quite the following, like a cult following, really. All, oh, all 80 of them. Guy. I've never heard of this guy. He does Monday. I, that major, surprises like the, the hell out of me, dad. honestly. That surprises me so much that you've never heard of a guy with 80 subscribers that is in local <laughs> local Cleveland radio. <laughs> local radio. <laughs> yeah, he he's does a that. Fascinating individual. Well, I mean, he he's he's like a Klingon for Chad, but even with Chad's show on uh, Monday with Mazurs. They still only get hundreds of views, which is kind of surprising, honestly. Uh, even Chad gets thousands of views. Uh, but yeah, here let's watch. Uh, let's watch this masterpiece of radio slash internet, uh, just like Stilto. But here we go. 
some stuttering John and a little bit more uh, stut show content if you want to go mm. and check that out. <laughs> but there's more stuff too. You guys don't do just straight out. You're you're not one trick ponies when you talk. And we'll talk a little more about John later here in the podcast. Mm. But um, we so getting. Uh, am I wrong to say this? But people that have like lazy eyes that point outward is disturbing. People that have eyes that are lazy inward are endearing. Like, ah, uh, like you see someone with like kind of cross-eyed and you go, ah, and you, you see like a lazy eye where they're outward and you go, ah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's wrong with that guy? Something wrong with him? No. I don't know what the difference is, but it's a huge difference for me in my mind. I, I Maybe I'm insane. I don't know if that's, that's probably true. I don't uh, understand why they don't wear glasses or like sunglasses or something. There's per there's people with perfectly fine eyes. I, I uh, Stancil for for an not Mersh, where's glasses? Not Melton. <laughs> uh, who else? Uh, yeah, no. Zero Dark Tony didn't have weird eyes, did he? No, I don't, I don't think so. He Never did saw wear glasses, them. So. He no, wore sunglasses. Well, no, yeah. we did see clips of him. From the old days, and he didn't oh, have one. No, his eyes. eyeballs look like my fucking nipples, dude. Like they were they marching to the beat of their own fucking drum. They were wonky like your tits. <laughs> Fuck dedicated. yeah, dude. Dedicated to what? Fucking trying to separate? From the north and the east. <laughs> That's what they're dedicated to. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. I'm glad you got back just in time to watch this amazing broadcast, but check it out, folks. Blow your mind, something you guys have to see on a regular basis, and we'll try to bring you a lot more of this content. I had a chance to talk to you uh, about a month ago and finding out that you actually used Yay! to write for Mad Magazine. Yes. Uh, and what? Gay? Is that all you got? Yeah. I think, yeah, I think so. Thanks for screaming, gay. Uh, Rodney Dangerfield, I'll give him credit for the the frame oh, that's photo. That, that's, that's his daddy. What? Why he put He's got the okay. Let's break some of this down. I mean, come on. He's got the cheapest on-air neon sign that you can get on Amazon. So maybe it's a present from a kid he has or something. I can't imagine him like buying that himself. Or, or is he a child himself? A uh, little messy up there, bud. Kind of looking a little Ray DeVito-ish. But I do like the Rodney. I'll give him credit for that one. Podcast, hmm. but um, we, so getting a chance to talk to you uh, about a month ago and finding out that you actually used to write for Mad Magazine. Yes. And I, as somebody, and I know you grew up with Mad Magazine and I mm -hmm. did too, and we just started going on through some of these names. So uh, talk about having an opportunity to write for a magazine that you grew up with. This is mm -hmm. something that was a, that was the pinnacle for if you were a comedian or writer or artist mm -hmm. or all the above. This right. is what you wanted to achieve. And you you made it happen. Is that true? I sure the hell don't. I read Mad Magazine in the 80s and 90s, and I do not remember it being the pinnacle of writing for a comedian or a entertainer writer i didn't catch any of what he said because i almost immediately disassociated and that is yeah truth that is real truth it, it just was like one <laughs> that would go into a grocery store and just like go to the mad magazine and smash the back picture together because they yeah. had that back picture that's uh -huh. it that's like all i ever did right yeah, the reading inside of it was, uh, I don't know, they had some good articles and stuff. Some of it was funny, but for the most part, yeah, I did the same thing. The only thing I really cared about was that fucking back page. What was on the back page? I'm very confused. No, you, you folded it properly. Arrows. Go ahead, yeah. you tell them that. I'm going to let my dogs out while you tell them. Yeah, there was two arrows, right? And went, uh -huh. so like it was one picture. Chops, let, fucking work with me here. It was one picture, and there was two arrows. And yeah. when you would when you would smash those arrows together, guess what? Like w when you say smash, do you mean fold? Yeah, you would fold it. Yeah. Okay. You'd fold okay. it. Whole different picture, bro. It was like usually it was inappropriate. It was like a dick or something. And I'm like fucking like eleven. I'm like tee hee. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? I'm fucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I'm just, in, I'm, I'm in fucking a, 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 a fucking grocery store, smashing these fucking pictures together, laughing my cock off. I remember when I was a kid going through Mad Magazine. I, it was like one of my first uh, representations of breast, you know, because I didn't see them anywhere else, and there were cartoons that had them on there, and I was like, oh. Well, I'm not supposed to see this, but here it is in comic fashion. Rod's jacking off to Playboy's like five. Said, Come on, you are so innocent. Yeah, same here, man. I, I found worse than Playboy's. They were like hustlers and that kind of shit. But back in, Fuck I would yeah. say I was five-ish, probably four or five or six, somewhere right in there for sure. I remember there was an alien having sex with a lady because obviously that was very forward to a five-year-old uh but yeah seeing like the tongue of a like the movie the alien you know how it like came out of its mouth and it was like something like that having sex with a lady They're like so, suck her oh i'll never forget it you can't forget that that's impossible like yeah yeah like the water the other day when they where they showed the et porn oh my god oh, uh, no i missed that one yeah. Oh my god, it was fucking it's worth going back and watching. It is yeah, I'm I'm a couple shows behind on In Hot Water, honestly. Like I missed today, yesterday, and like a couple other shows from last week. So yeah, for sure. I I'll catch up on them this weekend, I'm sure. I'll try to catch up. Have you seen the pterodactyls? It's just we watched that together, I do believe, in backstage of the BYB early on. Edward Penis Hands. Super. That's, in the, that's a great one. What the hell's going on there? Yeah, you heard it here first, folks. BYB, we watch porn backstage before the show and after the show. <gasps> it's mandatory. Yeah, it's called Lemmy it's Getting Naked. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's going to be real weird, like pterodactyl. You have no idea. <laughs> An E.T. Uh, Tiff with three Fs. What a snooze. I hope you're talking about Tony Missouri's show, not our show. <laughs> you better be nice to us. We're I actually friends. don't find him that, that bad as a broadcaster because like if he was on NPR, I would say that he's pretty he's pretty good. He's I well, said NPR, NPR that he belongs on NPR, oh. exactly. No, one hundred percent then, yep. <laughs> no, like he would fit in there in, like talking about like uh chocolate salty balls or uh Schwetty's Schwetty's wieners. Radio. Sweaty's wieners. Just how he's asking a question, but he's he's also giving the person enough time to think of a, a think of an answer while having like this long gated question. That's a very old school radio thing to do. Yeah, what do they call it? Stretching. Stretch it. Stretch mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but I would assume they would call that stretching. Yep. <laughs> Well, yeah, like uh, there's there's a bunch of people that are very gifted at saying absolutely nothing but talking for like a minute straight. Uh, yeah. Aaron Aaron Immolt <laughs> is very good at doing that. No, I mean, like like if you ask him an honest, easy yes or no question, he can stretch it into a minute of not answering you at all. It's it's that bizarre, but they're they're highly capable of doing that shit. It's weird, dude. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a skill. It's definitely a skill, and, and it's the zero dark Tony guy is good at it. Ray is really good at it. Like you want to see someone stretch <laughs> for time, and he's not even a radio guy. He's just a goofball. But you ask him like the easiest question of the world, you might be talking about the same thing for five minutes and not have an answer when it's all said and done. Because he'll end up like it, at the end of his answer, he'll be like. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, Robert Spahn, stretch marks. He'll just, like, jump off of what he was talking about and start <laughs> talking to Super Chats. It's in, mm. it's crazy. Uh, we like Ray. He's our favorite, but he's Ray's also... Ray's the worst. Uh, I don't like Ray. I still need Ray's him. the best friend of the program. He's one of our closest allies. Uh, we love podcasting with him. I want to get on a it's show loud. with Ray just to watch the world implode as they watch. We have very similar minds. Very confused. It's not worth people. it. It's not worth it, dude. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I'm just so curious. For science, Lemmy. For science. If it's for All science. Right. It's Z. Thank you. 
So yeah, pinnacle, <laughs> pinnacle of comedy and writing. I cannot see Mad Mad Magazine being that. I would say more like Rolling Stones or Playboy or. So I think Rolling Stones probably had that for a lot of years. That title, like the most important magazine to read for articles. Mm -hmm. Playboy, okay, Playboy too. I mean, play pretty good. Yeah. Say Playboy what you want about talking good. Yeah. For many years, they had a lot of good writers, or at least articles. They would pick up. They would pay whatever. Uh, even like Jim Goad, he's kind of an odd writer, but he's very good. They would buy his stuff and put him in Playboy. Yeah, Playboy was pretty fucking good when it came to. Like, I I remember my dad making jokes and shit. Like, oh, I just read the articles, but the articles were actually really good. Like, they had like. They had fucking like huge celebrities with like really good interviews, and the writers were really good too. Yeah, I would have read more of the articles if they weren't all stuck together. Ah, uh, coming. <laughs> Happened. Right. And I'm old as hell. So I remember, you know, when I, I first started getting Mad Magazines, probably early 70s. And that's when they were in their heyday, late 60s, early 70s. That was like the top of the game. And uh, yeah, uh, and actually in the late 70s, early 80s, I actually went and showed some artwork to them to try to get a job. And they, and and William Gaines, the uh, the editor, the creator, was was really nice. He said, come on in, sit down. You know, I was some punk kid, looked at my artwork and, and thanked me and showed me around the office, got to meet the, the, all the legendary guys there. And of course, didn't get the job. But then years later, uh, I, I oh, well. Uh, I thought this guy was boring, but did you catch that inflection? I years know. later. <laughs> years later. Finally, inflection. Very hard to focus. Shit. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Like, why do you think we're watching it, Lemmy? I wanted to make you squirm. Oh. It's so bad. <laughs> I, I don't know what's going watch. on. I don't even know. Hell. I really don't know what's going on. I don't know what they're talking about. Nope. And I, every time they open their mouths, like my mind is like, oh, what's on my desk? Oh, I got some Carmix over here. I'm like, should I smoke a cigarette? I don't know. Should I roll a joint? Jesus. I'm kind of thirsty. I, it's painful, right? Yeah. I, I'll, I'll say this. Between the two guys, they match energies like perfectly. They both belong on NPR. They both have the exact same delivery. It's kind of crazy to watch. Uh, I never, I never, maybe this is his dad. I don't even know. That soul patch is unbearable. I forgot that was a Granny, thing. have you ever seen your goatee? <laughs> In the, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> what the run away. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, this is a good one. Here you go. <laughs> Captain Miserable. Dueling morons. Yes. Dare, nah, 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 nah. More like borons, am I right? Hey. Hey -o. When, uh, I, I got recommended as a writer and started working for him. And yeah, I would send stuff in, but I also got to go and hang out at the offices there and see a lot of the legendary uh that bring your bring your kid to school day memories from 1970. Uh, people and got to know them, and uh, it was an incredible it, it, one of the one of the best things that ever happened to me, really. Yeah, I mean, getting a chance to write and and be a part of Mad Magazine. If people want to go back in time and go see some of your work, of course, uh, I found a couple of them. We got a, a Goosebumps parody. Okay. <laughs> that apparently you did. And then there was another one you did a Star Wars parody as well. Yeah, inside. Yeah, there was a, it was a, um, yeah, I, I live remember. You know, you used to send, you know, he, <laughs> oh, it was God. so, it's, uh, it was so exciting that he can't even remember. <laughs> he it's was so like, boring. it was exciting. It was great. It was the best time of my life. But yeah, I don't even remember what that was. What is it? <laughs> Hearing these guys is worse than having dead air. And that's so bad. It's so bad. The fucking guy is bringing up shit. That, yeah, I don't fuck it. I don't know. I don't remember, dude. Like, it, this is, it was terrible. It, Mad Magazine fucking sucked. The only thing people did was push the goddamn back page together. 
to see a wiener or whatever the fuck was back there. Sent so many stuff, so many things in, uh, you know, submissions, and a lot of them got taken. Some didn't, and so whatever, you know. I know I got the check at the end of the month. So it's it's odd because I was watching the movie. Uh, with Will Forte, it's called a stupid and futile gesture, uh-huh. and it's about the whole National Lampoon Doug right. Kenny, and people can go look it up on their own about Animal House and Caddyshack. But it's one thing to think about my generation, the millennials that grew up with National Lampoon. It was a joke. It was nothing but. It was just tits and ass. It mm. was a college movie. Oh, a bunch of college kids trying to lose their virginity. Right. And what we found out was that National Lampoon was essentially licensed licensing their name that if you had some shitty script that you wanted out there you're like hey let's do a script where we get really drunk and go on a road trip you're like okay well all we have to do is pay a stipend to national lampoon so it can say national lampoon's drunken road trip or whatever right Right. And it, it's it's odd because the same thing kind of happened with Mad Magazine is that mm. it wasn't the same, unfortunately, but at one time for a more of a baby boomer or Gen X generation, mm. they I mean, this was a Bible <laughs> to a lot of people. <laughs> I'm, 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 Derek, are you mm-hmm. trying to torture mm-hmm. us? Is yeah, that I, I literally am about to go f- cut the rest of my foreskin off. Like, <laughs> fuck it. Like, I, I'm just gonna shave the rest of my. I'm, I'm gonna go shave the rest of my dick off, dude. I've been searching so much for like, okay, what is the point of this? What's going on? And I was like, the point is to destroy our internal souls. <laughs> uh, you and thought I was trying to entertain you? No, 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 this is just so bad, dude. It's so bad. I had to share it with someone else to say, <laughs> dude, this is so bad. Now, like, I've heard Mountain be like, oh, yeah, that guy Tony Mazur sucks and whatever. But I never had gone to his channel and actually looked at anything. And I just happened upon this. And then I seen, I was like, oh, Mike Morse is on with uh, Tony. Maybe this is, I'll, I'll check it out. And this is what I started watching, and I, I had to show you guys. It's Why so is Melvin even bad. mentioning this guy? He, if he's got like what eighty subscribers, eighty followers? No, like uh, him and Chad. He follows Chad Zumok's material, and this guy just happens to do his show with him. But Jesus! Oh. But you get this guy on his own, and he's actually worse than with Chad, which is hard to fucking accomplish. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, this they have talked a lot, but have really not gotten anywhere with it. Just very interesting. Right. And, you know, strangely enough, they, they really kept their integrity. They, those original no! guys, uh, they had been uh, bought out, and uh, the offices wanted, they wanted to move the offices to California. And literally everybody who worked in the New York office said, well, then we'll just all quit. It was like a solidarity thing. So they kept them in the offices there for another five years or whatever. And finally, it, uh, I think it was uh, DC had owned them and uh, said, well, we're going we're gonna to move it out. And that's, that's when it all kind of went to hell. You mentioned a couple of those. Uh... That's when it all went to hell. Wow. I mean, at least that story really got exciting at the end there, Granny. Aren't you happy? Well, cut the rest of my dick skin off. Um, I'm fully circumcised right on down to the balls now. It was more entertaining than listening to one more fucking second of what you're playing. Great. All right, so you're not a fan. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Not a fan in the least. Oh, this gold. Oh, look, this gold, gold folds. Uh, he thinks we're watching. Oh, yes. Uh, gold poles. Yes. Thanks for being here. It's a lot um, of sparking going on. Yeah. Right, go, right. Go, go to bed, Tony. All right. <laughs> sit, uh, sit Robert there. Spawn from Spawn Ranch, maybe. Uh, does Mike abuse prescription opiates? You would, uh, you would think maybe they both do. Uh, I would, I would assume. They're definitely not on caffeine. I think they're so sober that other people that are that are not sober look at them and go, okay, they're on something. Nobody acts this way. Well, they Hello? sure do. Hi. 
<laughs> I appreciate uh, it. <laughs> hey, Grady, why don't you take the camera and start up a stream and then go run in the bathroom with Lemmy and Filmer on stream for us? Uh, just surprise her. It'll be fun. Thoughts? She's not in the bathroom. I think I oh. think she's making food for the kids. Oh, all right. Yeah. Dude, uh, does that all right. satisfy all right. your fucking crippled needs? Like, yeah, I mean, like, yeah. I, if she's I, not, if she's I, not naked in the God. bathroom, I just was hoping maybe she was taking a poop. And she's a lot like Aaron Imholt and takes all her clothes off when she goes poo-poo. Uh, Let me come back I in mean, the backwards no. shirt. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, if she comes back no, with a backwards shirt, we'll upset. know it's a work. <laughs> she gets yeah. upset with me because she'll be in there taking a shit, and I'll just walk in and start having a conversation. And like she's like, I'm <laughs> pooping. What? Yeah. It's a very private yeah, like, thing. I'll Who just goes lock. in and has a conversation with somebody that's pooping? She'll lock the door. I'll pick that motherfucker. Dude. I'll, I'll slide a card in, and I'll fucking open that shit up and be like, hey, I got to talk to you. That ain't nice. Like, I'm sh shitting. And I'm that's like, I don't care. That is a lie. That is that's a fucking lie. That is a lie straight from fucking hell, dude. This motherfucker Yay. locked the door. He doesn't want anybody like talking outside. Dude, no, that is such bullshit. No, he was saying he goes in there while you're pooping. No, he doesn't Get him, ever. Get him. He doesn't ever. He could if he wanted to. I wouldn't give a shit. I was married to a Marine for 13 fucking years. You think I'd give a shit if you walked in take me taking a shit? He said, hang Granny, out with that. He took shits. Granny, you got caught in a lie, dude. I don't know. Why? This is not oh, good. Man. We don't do works at good. BYB. Why are you doing works, dude? I was talking to this bitch this morning while she had a fucking dangler hanging out her butthole, dude. We don't believe we don't it. Not true, not right. true. I repeat, not true. How can I we believe anything you say now, Granny? How? Yeah, well, I'm glad that Lemmy's not a liar, and I'm glad she doesn't do works like you. Well, you know what? I made a promise. And I'm going to keep it. So every time you're taking a shit now, Lemmy, I'm gonna bust that goddamn door open, and I'm gonna come in there. And I like I don't the weather. I don't know what the fuck we're gonna talk about, but we're gonna talk about some shit a lot. And I'm gonna look you dead in your eyes as there's a turd dangling from your asshole. Gaping asshole. Sentence again. <laughs> Dave H says hashtag log gate. That's right. We got a new gate. I'm going to jack. Go fuck yourself. No, I'm not smooching an asshole that just took a shit, bro. Uh, I mean, I've never really been into eating ass, so I don't know what kind no, of textures and ass. things you ass eaters are into or smells mm -hmm. or freshness. You know, it would be like 50 grit sandpaper, dude. You know what I mean? If you got if you got some turdage in there. No, I don't, because I don't. I don't, and I don't, and I won't. Uh, I'm not a fan of anything doing to do with uh, buttholes, period. Like, I don't want to have butt sex with a lady. Black any of that stuff. I'm good. I'm good on that. You guys can have it. Never have been a fan of the a hole. I didn't. I did, could never really understand the excitement about it. Honestly, it's uh, a gateway maybe, to homosexuality, bro. Right, and maybe all the ladies I've been with have been uh, tight enough not to worry about uh, getting in the other hole that's tighter. That's what I always hear. Uh, all right, let's get off of this. I don't want to talk about buttholes. You guys, you guys save this shit for a uh, corn show. Fucking dork. Nude buttholes. And thank you. Uh, Stevie Lou. All right, let's get into Stevie Lou topics. This is something he posted. We... Jesus Christ. Night stick fracture, not nunchuck fracture. Let's let's be very clear on this. This is a night stick fracture, a minis minimally displaced oblique fracture of the ulna, uh, without associated fracture of the radius. Um, Direct trauma to forearm while in a defensive stance. So that's the break he's saying. And now I understand what he was trying to explain was 
you know, when the, the bone is displaced and it doesn't line up exactly. I thought it meant he had like an indent in the bone, but it actually broke his arm like that. So that's what he meant by fracture. I was not <laughs> clear on that. Guys, uh, I, I have what's called a nightstick fracture. The injury derives from the idea that a suspect struck with a police nightstick will hold his far up forearm above his face in a defensive posture when struck with a police baton uh thoughts do we look like assholes do we got egg on our face what do we got here you think you got fucked I, up the is that it? no it's a oh yeah. i see what you're saying no i don't think so uh he seemed pretty straight and narrow from what i, I can don't tell think but, i didn't that say he, he hurt, didn't right? break his fucking arm dude i'm saying that the nunchaku story doesn't sound real <laughs> i broke my fucking arm in half I, you see those two bones both them motherfuckers dude Why was in the for two years where's Appreciate the rest of the bones? you see that nick i broke that thing in half Why that is ain't me that's squirt what? Why is there a middle part? Like, there's nothing in between the bone. What's going on there? I see two two halves of the bone. But what about yeah, the middle half? Why is that, that blank? blank space? There's two bones in your arm, Chops. There's one here and one here. That blank space is like all muscle and meat. Are you fucking kidding me? No. Oh, you didn't yeah, know this? When, you twist, when no. you twist your arm, Chops, you, the you bones... You that was all one bone? Like a... Like a I thought it was just one. Yeah, yeah. Wait till you see an X-ray of a leg. Oh my That's god! That's really gonna it. blow your mind, bro. What's up, Lenny? What'd you say? You gotta Jesus. crack a book open. Like every once in a while, like I know you your body. <laughs> this is like seriously for That's fourth grade biology. I, I've never noticed it. Like when when I saw the in between, like the the gap, I was like, why is that there? What happened? I thought somebody chiseled it out. Chops. I'm so, I, Are I, you I, fucking I, with us right now? I'm I'm no. not. I am not. I wish just... he was, but no, he is legitimately fucking retarded. Will you bring <laughs> up a skeleton? Can you do that? Can you do that real quick? Is that possible? I thought every skeleton, yeah, like, it, it's a it's whole possible. fucking thing. It's a whole phone. Well, that's... My mind is, uh, I'm matrixed right now. I'm having a Mandela effect. Uh, you mean a, ma a Mandalu effect? I can't with you sometimes. <laughs> like, dude, you have no idea how much I want to beat you at points. Like a fucking stepchild, just beat the living fuck out of you. I learn something new every minute. I love it. This is how you live life. Oh my god. I mean, are we really actually showing like x-rays now because of fucking, uh, yes. Uh, chops, chops, chops. Hey, chops, look at this. This is, uh, where your where penis goes, buddy. Hit? Oh, that's the pussy your penis goal. goes in that huge hole. <laughs> it's not. Connected. See how loose women are chops. I bet. Have you ever been with a woman that loose? I mean, that's quite the gaper, huh? Why is it's a, a guy, guy Chops. Everything? It's a guy. Okay, Jeez. I have no idea. How would I know? We all of our bones look the same in the end, right? We're all the same on the inside. Uh, are we no, not? no, we're not. Are no, men serious? and women are different. Uh, do we have to explain that to you now? How do they have different bones than us? How do they have different uh, bones? What does the inside of a what does the bone bone structure? Well, for one. Mean? Yeah, for one thing, they have to have a huge child to go between that hole, unlike ours, which is smaller. That expands. That goes whoop. Your pelvis Here. is more narrow, Chops. Your pelvis goes in like that. Ours are more like... Uh, this is what Lemmy looked like oh, before she wore that brace all the way through elementary school. She had scoliosis. <laughs> Whoa! What's going on? I can picture Lemmy being one of those girls, like uh. I no, I wore girl. an eye patch. I wasn't a brace girl. I wore an eye patch. Thank you very much. Yeah, eye surgery or fucking... something. No, I had. I was born with amblyopia, 
which is a fancy, super fancy word for a lazy eye. And I was com almost completely blind in both my eyes. So I had to wear eye patch to strengthen one of my eyes. One of my eyes was strengthened to like peak condition. And the other eye never, it never did. I'd wear an eye patch all throughout like lazy kindergarten. Lazy bastard. That's the one I come in. <laughs> Hello. I Hi. like it. Sometimes with chops, I swear to God, I uh, I'll sit here and I'll go. If it was a bit, it would be so much better. It would be awesome. But God damn it, it's not like. His <laughs> fucking... <laughs> but I don't... What did you do for forty years? I don't know. I don't know, but the, the Lord says no to travel along the world in a childlike with a childlike Wait. mind. Here I am. <laughs> Here I am. I got uh, Uncle Jack, I might be a little confused on your comment. Uh, I've got rods and shit in Mr. Hands. Like, yeah, <laughs> you caused what happened to Mr. Hands to happen. Like, I don't know. Uh, you put a rod yeah, up his got ass by the horse, right? And died. Yeah. Well, maybe yeah, after that, that, Uncle Jack came over and put rods in it, apparently. Yikes, bro. That's bad. That's an inside thought. <laughs> Uncle Jack killed Mr. Hans. The truth come out. You heard it here on BYB. <laughs> I heard it first. Um, all right. Next up. We got Bob Levy versus Mike. All right, there you go. There's your answer. My ain't blank. Love it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> we got Bob Levy versus Stuttering John. This is a very interesting proposition. I would love to see it, and I hope the hell they uh, they live stream it. Uh, but so here's the gig. Is he jerking off? <laughs> Yeah, no doubt, huh? <laughs> what do you now it's just a cock mold. Guys, you know. <laughs> yeah, cock mold like you got chops. There you go, bud. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, he is coming, but yeah, now it's just a cock mold. <laughs> I'm coming, coming back to back to Cali, Cali. Bob Levy just texted me. Uh oh. <laughs> Almost want to set him away. Do not go check the chicken. Uh -huh. It's Almost fine. No, Bob, I mean, Bob, I say you want to go on. <laughs> yeah, text him. You want the link? No, I'm not. I don't know how I can ever look at Mike Morse the same again after that interview. By the way, just seeing his face on screen right now, it's not good. Like I, I, uh, I never thought he was interesting or good before, but wow, it's going to be hard to now watch me just, all now. It just angers and confuses you. Right, right. It was like looking at Bobby Nick on my screen all these years. We're doing a show here. Yeah, that's the fucking point. Yeah, yeah. we'll watch it. What does that mean in uncalled for? I seen Lammy make a face after I said that. She went, you, mm. you, like, you, oh, that was a nice. You yeah, very, very one, nice Bobby. Take my you're facial expressions one, in, in, into consideration. None. I am the bleeding heart vagina on the show. Ooh. Just ignore me. Oh, <laughs> you're being mean to someone who's not even here. Oh, I can't even take shots to the guy that's not here. No, you can. You can. I'm just going to have my facial expressions. Uh, I yeah, I should, I, should I make you want to make another face? Because he's not a BYB guy no more. You can make a face. Go ahead. Oh. Wait, did he quit or was he fired? Yes. Okay. All right, play the clip. We'll watch it. Yeah. <laughs> so you can make fun of me? Fuck you guys. Yeah. I'm not leaving here. I'm not yeah. fucking moving out of this fucking thing. So you want to talk about the about the uh, this show? Come on. The, yeah. The, the stand up. He said he was he would he Well here he here's like, the issue. Watch ah, it. Ah. And he wrote. <laughs> so now just so we're, we're everybody's up to speed, a few shows ago, John made a challenge, or he said that he, he's a better comic than Bob, and he would... 
Uh, yeah, there there is some stand up from Stuttering John, and there's a lot from Bob on the internet. Um, I don't know. They both have similar amounts of time doing comedy. They both came from Stern. I, that's where that's where all their heat, both of them, comes from is from being on uh, Stern. Uh, have you guys seen both and have a thought on that, or am I the only one that's seen both of them do comedy? No, Outside I've seen Stern John's a little bit, not and a little bit on Stern. I have not seen anything. Bob, no yeah. Bob. What no about Bob. Bob? What about Bob? What about Bobby? What about Bobby? Um, yeah. Can I mention one other thing about hats too? Uh, I'm not a fan of white dudes wearing Kangol hats and. <laughs> <laughs> Shuli has a Kangol hat on, like he's uh he thinks he's a uh, Samuel L. Jackson, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah, uh, not a fan. What what are those hats called, Grain? The other hats we were making fun of earlier, the weird little what Irish hats. Caps. Scully, Scully caps. caps versus Kangol hats. What do we think? Nobody should wear either ever again. Should be banned in the United States forever. Yeah, I don't. I don't enjoy a backwards hat on a man. I look. That's not a backwards hat. hat that's a Kangol. Well, okay. Wait, hold on. That's a beret then. All right. Let me see if I can find a spot here. He went on a stream in a fucking beret. What a Jew, dude! It it's a Kangol. K A N G O L. Kangol. I hate it. I hate it, dude. I mean, what does he drive? A fucking Miata? <laughs> that tracks. Yeah. He's having a midlife <laughs> crisis. <He's, laughs> he just started shaving his head, and now he's like, fuck it. I'm going Kango, man. That's cool. Boomer. That tracks because he's in a gay sweater. Gay hat. Gay fucking sweater. Gay car. Miatas are gay. You should be ashamed of yourself if you drive one. Yeah, this is in the same stratosphere, uh, Captain Miserable. I drive a Dodge Strat S. Yep. Uh, I'm sure that's a convertible Stratus, I would assume. He He's a better comic than Bob, and he would be better than him on stage. If they did a show, he would... He would have a better showing than you, right? Isn't that yeah. the gist of what he said? Yeah, like we'd each headline one show. Right. So yeah. so you texted him that offer today. Yeah. But he is taking it as if you're lo- <laughs> like you're a battered woman and you're looking for a way to leave <laughs> your husband. Like it's it's wild. He's taking this as you guys are gonna be friends and you're gonna start working together. Just no, from this tag, we're doing it. We're doing the contest right now. That's what I'm saying. He challenged you, so you yeah. said, "Okay, so I'm going to set up a show." But you he had thinks, mine. Yeah, he thinks you're reaching out to and him, and it's basically just me and him, and that's it. Right. You know what I mean? Right. He do he. You do an hour one night. He does an hour one night. So we we skipped right past roast battles. Now we're we're talking about doing. I'll do a show, then you do a show, then we'll what have judging, like vote to see who's the better comic. Does that all fucking track to you guys, or does that sound stupid as fuck? Stupid. It sounds, it sounds pretty dumb. Yeah, it sounds dumb. Also, does Shuli go to like a Hasidic opt- optometrist? <laughs> like, it, it, is there I any other kind? <laughs> Bro, if your optometrist has a yarmulke on and you pick those glasses, you have made mistakes, son. You have made a lot of mistakes in your life. So the guy yeah, in the tiger like... onesie drinking a bush light with a yeah. seven wisp beard. Yeah. Ah, no, not, she's I'm taking not, shots at your beard. I like it. I'm not saying I haven't made mistakes, but... Uh, I don't go, hey, I'm Jewish. Let me fucking just accentuate that with the most Jewish glasses possible. Look at Bob (laughs) Levy's glasses. Look at Bob Levy's fucking glasses, right? You you got got a nice 
You get a nice wire frame. Well, the problem with Shuli's, it like, I don't think the thickness of his glasses would fit in uh, tiny little frames like that. They would probably fall off his face from the weight. He looks like Joan fucking Rivers, dude. <laughs> How do you know it's not? Okay, cool. He was in plastic surgery. She was in plastic surgery at the time of her death. How do we know if she's uh, not alive and just looks different? Points. She's Points dead. Based. We can do that. So, is there a bet as well? And she was the OG person to call out Michael Obama, too. That's my hero, Joan Rivers, you're talking about there. That's true. You said you wanted to do more. And have we still, have we seen a picture of Michael Obama pregnant? And we've yet to see that picture, correct? Whoa. Gotcha. <laughs> Whoa. Dude, dude can't get pregnant. It's easy. Dude looks like a man. True. You're muted, dude. Money for it. Too, There's right? no pictures of her yeah, pregnant. I figure whatever. Right. Yeah, confirmed. She's a lady. Uh, all right, so we've been watching this footage. Uh, Stuttering John has said that he would like to take on Bob Levy in a challenge of comedy. And the challenge is, like, one does a set, and then the other one does a set, and somehow you judge that. Like, how do... Yeah, you, like, you have a, a guy with a hat, and you just throw a piece of paper in, and you, I guess they, that's how they would have to, you know do a vote or something like that that doesn't make sense at all yeah it's it's a shitty idea right like a roast battle is the only way to go in this you have to i would say so yeah i mean bob would kill him either way either way bob bob's an actual comedian and i i i heard when i was coming in i'm gonna see i'm about to see them here on long island on the 30th uh bs show live or the uncle nice. Rico show live whatever, whatever it is yeah so bob's a real comedian oh. i've seen him I don't even know who you are, dude. No, yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know who you are. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> I had to set it up. He made it. <laughs> I had to set it up one more. Well, I mean, uh, Stuttering John, he's Long Island too, right? He's born yeah. and raised Long Island. Yeah, Massapequa. Massapequa Park. His mommy, Asa. He was just visiting there in... Uh, Christmas time. Were you the yeah. guy delivering pizzas to his house that he was about to beat no. the shit out of? No, if if I if I did anything like that, there would be a video of me at the, at his front door. Like you know, I would have recorded it. You know. Is this stuttering John's house? Mom's house? <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. Uh, yeah, he was. Any better. I'm a son of a Long Islander. I mean, I'm I'm. Pretty white trash southern, but uh, yeah, hop on. That's neat. Nice, nice story. You got any more of those, Mike Morse? You got any yeah. more of those there, Tony Missouri? Yeah, so uh, they, uh, maybe we can, guess, maybe uh, we can get on. you on that Tony Missouri show. I'll, I'll reach out to him and see maybe if I can get one of my. I would love to see you on there because you you just like him. You guys are twinsies. Maybe he'll well, wear see, a onesie. Hop hog back in the day was all farm country. And uh Hop Hog or Quahog? Hog. And, uh, hop hop hog. hog. Um and, mm. and and you know, when when you wanted something to do, you'd travel out. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, you boy, travel out so on your horse and buggy and you go the to, the, to the farmer's and... market. Hello? Also, right. John's walking out with a door. <laughs> also, uh, this on a motorcycle. we in put up Uber. two thousand each, so there's a chance of walking out with, you know. Oh, so the loser gets nothing. No, right. I love that. It's like I Hunger love games. that. So that's what a competition is, you know. So four thousand dollars, they have to raise. <laughs> John gets nothing. You get nothing. Yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, I don't even know. So anyway, I guess we can stop there. We don't have to hear the whole fucking thing. This is kind of 
ridiculous idea. Yeah, I, I hope it something does happen. I just hope it's more like what we were talking about. And they just give up on this whole, you do a set and I do a set and then people vote. Because no matter how it goes, everybody's going to whine and cry like little bitches about it, right? It just seems right. like a That's really just... long way to go around just doing something you can do on a show. Just just do a roast battle on a show, on a stream yards. It's you're like going way around your at like elbow to get to your asshole. Kind of almost and literally. They probably regret it afterwards too. Hello. No. Hi. Nice Men are weird. I, they have to turn well, everything into like a weird uh, competition. That is a weird there competition. Yeah, like a dick measuring competition. <laughs> or boxing, like a fucking roast battle. Like, I gotta fucking compete with, like, like, call, call well, the fuck down. Do you, you remember when J John back in the day wanted to race a professional football player? Um, you know, yeah, the 40 yard dash. Pro. Yeah, like, like, John's known for doing that since he's he was young. He just has been delusional since uh, the Stern days. Thinking he could beat pros at everything, he's the best, you know. Well, yeah, like in that race, he was like, I had him for a second, uh, like right off the yeah, line right. or whatever. And he's like, I had him, I had him. Yeah, but he beat you by 10 yards at the end. So I don't know about all that. Nice try, though. It was real close there, feller. I had him the first half of one tenth of one step. I almost got him till I ran out of air 20 yards in. And I couldn't breathe anymore. <laughs> For yeah, guy who it's I pretty challenged bad. to a speed walking competition. <laughs> oh, I think that's what I'm the dude did. He turned around and started running backwards, if I remember. He did. He ran backwards at the end to, to basically say... And still wasted him. him. It was yeah. good. And, and his agent was telling him not to do it. Like he's, his agent's like, I, <laughs> you, you can't do this. And he's like, no, I'm going to do it because John's an asshole. And that's, that's basically what happened. Um, oh, this is the one I wanted to bring up. Uh, Star Mountain, none of this will ever happen. Content, talk. Content yeah. equals talk. A lot of hot air. Yeah. yeah. I would assume you're probably right. That does track. A lot of what they do is just bullshit just to get eyes on their shows, both of their shows. It works. It's fun to cover the bullshit, though. It's fun to cover the bullshit. It works. Yes, ma'am. All right, uh, next one. Kevin Brennan has a green screen. Have you guys seen this? Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Have you heard about this, folks? Please tell me it's one of those really bad ones that are actually attached to the chair. Yes. I've seen this image go around, but I haven't seen it in person yet. Yes, that is precisely what we're talking about. Yes! A piece of shit connected to a chair. Unbelievable. The cheapest one. <laughs> yeah, there it is. No, I'm joking. But as I play it, it instantly pops up and shows you how shitty it is. We're green. We're the same <laughs> also, I got a green screen. <laughs> oh. Don't look, stop me now. I got a green screen. You got it. It's green. <laughs> He's, like, I, he's giddy he's about screen. having the shittiest he's green screen, screen there ever once. <laughs> it's green. Dude, I love it. I love his, I, I love the boomer shit, man. I've been laughing at his boomer ways since he started <laughs> doing this shit. Like, uh, oh I don't God. know. Like, after Compound, then he st he got this shitty headset. Like, everything he has is shit. It's they just They don't crappy. even use green screens on the news anymore. They just use that, like, what, Zoom background? It it fills you in instantly it's what granny uses uh right? granny what could use I a green know. screen what the fact that do? that you still see green over over his head means he doesn't know what he's doing with it yeah. or how to use it right no he i mean he's new. this is the first day and he did it himself i'll i'll give him that but yeah today it would look better um i think he finally got it figured out it took a couple days but we're there. You guys like, remember you when it. I downloaded that stock image of a board? Hey, it, this is gay. Do you remember when I downloaded that stock image of that board and I uploaded it? 
to OBS. I'm so good. Hello. Hi. I don't even think he's using the green screen. I think that he got the green screen and then he put he figured out how to put the filter on for the background to do it automatically because the green screen should not pop up at all. At all. that's what I, that's why it looks oh. weird. Yeah, that might be it. No, he's just using the virtual background that comes with StreamYard. That's all this is. <laughs> the worst part. They the they use StreamYard and on his stupid fucking senior citizen face. Look at that. I know he looks so he happy is. though. Come on, guys. It's like it's I, like I've when you've never seen him that happy in that clip. That that one clip you just played, that 37 seconds was the happiest I've ever seen him. Exactly. I've waited. Yeah, I've never see seen him happy before. Not like this. He's giddy about it. It's uh, yeah, he he was like a schoolboy on this is from Sunday on uh St. Patty's Day. And he put this together himself, and he was just so happy with himself. I love it. But, yeah, okay, so that's the one thing I did see today is when he moves in his chair, like, he bounces up and down. You know what I mean? Like, he's floating. That weird per, per, uh, depth perception thing that happens. Yeah, so that, that needs fixed. He needs a regular fucking green screen. Uh, but, yeah, so they, they have the virtual backgrounds. That's like what I'm using right now myself. It's just a stock image. Obviously, yeah, you if you're know, using with, OBS, with you should have a is, GIF. You know what? You know what his background is already, right? So to use a background like that, it doesn't even make sense because you know he has no none of these things around him at all. You know, and anything like that. So to use a a, a background like that just makes him look really stupid to me. He has a <laughs> divider. Because he's not a uniter. He's a divider. That smirk makes me want to beat senior citizens. Like, I like, I like not even just Kevin Brennan. Like, I just want to go out and start fucking up senior citizens. Because, just because of how you bossed this. Uh, yeah, Zeke's got a good point. Uh, yeah, KB was ecstatic after Chad got punched. Yeah, same look oh, yeah, on his face. Uh, yeah, yeah. Or anytime there's like an argument on screen and it doesn't involve him, it's like two other people arguing. He has that same look, like yeah, oh, he yeah, loves yeah, it. Yeah. He loves it. Uh, when Ray was spazzing out a couple weeks ago, like trying to be mean, that same look, like yeah, yeah, That's his bring goal. the hate. Yeah, he is the devil, folks. That's what we're trying to say. He's the devil. Mama I'm told me he's funny. the devil. Seems about right. His fucking hairline looks like a like eighteen year old dog. Why are you being mean? Like on the on the on the back end, it, it, because <laughs> like it, like the motherfucker got scratched too much. Like you're like, oh, you're old, so I'm gonna scratch it. But the hair just won't stick. It looks like it's uneven in in certain parts on the top. It is. It, He's got a it's weird little just, spot there. This is a bald oh, okay. head situation. This is dude. Uh, he made it sixty. Poop. Did you see his hair when he was younger, though, Granny? Have you ever seen that? This is poof no. hair. Yeah, he had fucking beautiful locks back in the yeah, 80s, had 90s. Poof, like, let it go, dude. Chops, hit it. What? Hit it. Uh, frozen. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Can't turn it back anymore. Don't do that ever again, please. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> Let me do this. Uh, no, he no, has... dude. <laughs> no, he had some like, a lot of pictures of not him. him. I just saw Chris Dealey. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. He looks. Yeah, they always have now. that, like a bunch of weird pictures. Uh, he's looked right. like somebody's abusive stepfather for 40 fucking years dude like what like, this shit is getting out of hand let's do this nice hair Kevin Brennan nice hair yeah it images there you go crinkled no bro yeah that that first one in the second row that's the hair i was talking about that poof that little poof that's hair. fucking photoshopped dude 
<laughs> oh, look at that. Long. Yeah, he's got wonderful hair in the 80s. Yeah, well, he was, what, 25, 30? Uh, I, I think that's him right oh, there. Shit. There's Kevin Brennan in the eighties. <laughs> no, that's go Kevin over Brennan two to the, the left. <laughs> two, if you go two to the left, go two to the left. Yeah, that one. Uh, that's that's him, isn't it? <laughs> in that him. <laughs> <laughs> that is the coolest hairdo ever. The eighties were amazing. Damn, dude, the eighties were fucking awesome. Uh, Travolta, oh, fuck, true. dude, we're totally off on a side tangent now. Jesus. That shit is so yeah. tied up front. Hold on, that, that last picture you showed. That motherfucker is tight up front, dude. Dude, this is amazing, actually. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Kevin oh, Bacon. Man. Who's that kid with the bl the blue background school picture? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking pimp dude I can't even show you I have one picture where I let my sister do my hair uh, before I went to school on picture day and of course that picture I wish was burnt and gone forever cause what a older sister will do to your hair to make you look like a homo in the 1980s uh, it was amazing oh whoa 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 we gotta see this one dude fucking Demi Dammy, baby, come to daddy. Wow. Crimping. Love oh, it. Shit. <laughs> Love yeah, it. crimping. Triple blow. Right? I forgot about that word, crimping. Mm -hmm. Right, you have. I know how I've been a dickhead my entire life because I am. My parents paid for fucking school pictures, right? And mm -hmm. I'm holding a basketball, and I I just had had lunch, and there's chocolate a chocolate pudding, fucking <laughs> ring. Around my mouth, uh, so that mean that means that everybody was like, oh, fucking fuck him, Pla dude." Oh, what Granny ate ass back then too. Confirm. Oh shit, balloon. <laughs> so like, and then I had to walk down the hallway, and that was like the only one my like dad paid for. Not that he didn't have the money, but it was just like one of the only ones. I had to go down. I had to walk down the hallway as a teenager and go. Dad, like, we still got the chocolate pudding fucking ring face up, dude. Like, <laughs> we can take that motherfucker down. That That's one that should have been sent back. They had that thing where they could take your pimples off and stuff. They, they could have probably took your chocolate right, off. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, had to do that for my... Uh... For my senior year picture, I remember that uh, I had I had some zits. They had to remove. Yes, uh, with the that's the nineties late late nineties. So they had that shit by then, but probably they might have had that in the eighties too. Well, some airbrushing. Well, people used to go down and get like family photos at the, the and and go down and get your that's senior Walmart? pictures and shit like that. That's yeah, serious. no, like at malls or like strip malls or they had places like an entire store that was designated just to doing pictures. So the they have those in the mall right right now. Like there's a Disney background and this and that, yeah. and they sell they make a lot of money in the mall right down the road from me. I was gonna say all they well. need's a green screen now. There they yeah, go. Well, they, they actually do a real setup of different, like, um, you know, kids stuff. I don't, I don't know. I, I was there, my kids. I forgot already, though. <laughs> um, all right. Next one. It's Kevin Brennan again. This is from today. Uh, this was kind of interesting to hear about in hot water news. Uh, this is that Tracy Carnazzo lady. Uh, but yeah, apparently she went into in hot water a couple times and she had a bad taste in her mouth, uh, back in the Ehrenberg days when it was even more wild than it is now. Uh, hard to believe, but true, uh -oh. true. The best part like is the really, the best dragon. part is I met you through Ray and I know Ray is probably mad that you're doing the show and, mm -hmm. uh, I know he is cause Ray, when Ray talks about the show, sometimes I'll be like, a lot of the guests uh, Kevin met through me. Like, right. uh, you know, well, here's the thing. You just blocked it. I've met you before without Ray, but you blocked it out. 
Yeah, but I didn't meet you like we didn't we didn't do a gig together. You no, met me at the we stand. talked a little bit. Yeah, but you blocked it out. So, I mean, technically, yeah, I block out a lot of <laughs> shit that happens at the. Stand. I got it. I would have blocked it out too. Yeah. And we we spoke uh, like after a show or before a show. We spoke after a show. We chatted a little and bit. And what'd you say? So yeah, if you think uh, <laughs> if you think if you DM with uh, Kevin Brennan and he has no idea who you are the second time you DM him. Don't feel bad. It seems to be a thing. Even if he looks you in the eyes, he won't remember you. So don't don't feel too bad. Well, she yeah, she's like, you... yeah, I would I wouldn't remember either. Well, what I would you say? She knows every detail though. <laughs> no, she, I, she was making a joke on herself. She smiled after she said that. She was like, uh, okay. yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't remember me either. Is what she should have said. Oh, That's what, what she's said. saying. Got you. And we we spoke uh, like after a show or before a show. We spoke after a show. We chatted a little and bit. And what'd you say? I think it was with Aaron. Um, he was asking me. Oh, to do Aaron a show again. Berg outside. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, I think I almost remember. Did I tell you to get away, <laughs> go away, because I want to talk to Aaron? No, 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 no. You wouldn't talk to me. Sometimes like that. I, I remember a couple of times. I was <laughs> no. Get away, go away. Like, Excuse me. I want to talk to Aaron for a minute, just privately. You know, it's no. something, something specific about right. something You're like, that was going on. I didn't want to bore anybody. Oh, yeah. okay. No, we were having a, a combo, and uh, I was about thinking what? I did not. Uh, Aaron wanted me to do the show again. I was not really looking forward to it. I, I denied uh, doing the show again. What show? Yeah. In hot water. Denied him for the third trip back. So she'd been on In Hot Water twice. Um, Aaron Berg obviously going around asking for guests. I'm sure they all did back then. Uh, that had to be before the pandemic. Maybe. Most likely. Yeah, this Probably. was a while ago. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Because you did it once you didn't you didn't care for it? I did it twice. Yeah, I did it twice. It, it, was, it wasn't for me. Yeah, but it's they don't they don't even let you on. I did it a couple of times. One time I they made me sit there yeah, for I mean, an hour. Yeah, you barely hour. speak. Yeah, it was you just, don't. They don't weird. even. They just use the gas to. They basically use the gas to ignore them. As yes. like that's like a bit where they yeah they yeah, make the so gas like, wait I can't, forever. I can't go to Midtown during the day. Like yeah, no. I no. did a show one time where they started at nine, and my son was off from school. There was like spring break. I brought my son. Oh well. We were sitting, and we I had to wake up at like eight. We got there. I, I'm sitting around in the fucking green room. I already had a show there. I'm sitting around. I'm like, are you guys fucking kidding? And then when I yeah. got on, uh, you know, they I was like, are, are, this is how you treat your guests that you like. I, I was I was kind of yeah, it was not for me. I was taken aback. Uh, yeah, so that that's kind of interesting. I don't know. That's back in the days when Kevin Brennan was doing uh, Burning Bridges, so he had his own show on the network compound media but yeah like come in early but i i've been watching in hot water for a long time so i kind of get it um yeah they the guests had nothing to do with the show they did and like they had really fucking big guests there's one time um you guys know who peter navarro is does that sound familiar from like uh the tv show on um the guy no does... that's uh that's dave navarro uh the the no. musician dave navarro no 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 uh, peter navarro the spent the, the guy who does uh what would you do on um no he board? does he was in the trump administration oh that dave uh, there's another dave navarro I'm peter about. peter navarro peter navarro peter navarro yeah he know. was one of the main uh trump advisors he, they got him on and this is like after the woo after the the election and they were still doing stop the steal and the whole thing they got him on which is insane that they got that dude on and they totally just ignored him made fun of him asked him the dumbest shit you could ever ask and and you know Gino's into the fucking the bird the Wuhan flu um and in, in uh, Peter Navarro's background was the Wuhan lab f of viol virology from Wuhan. <laughs> it was the lab as a green screen background. It was fucking beyond hilarious to see the way they treated him. It was a good show. But yeah, like Gino's actually nice to the guests now. It's almost Doesn't weird. Kevin do that to people, though, like leave them hanging, uh, hanging backstage for a long time. If he doesn't like you, probably. I, I yeah, he I, seems to give people, some people respect. Yes, yeah, some I guess. 
Um, I've never had to hang out backstage. He pops me right on every time. Do I need to say something else, or are you guys just going to sit there and look at me weirdly trying to brag? <laughs> Jesus. This got Hello? weird. You did it. Look at me. I'm weird. crippling and fucking Kevin, Kevin Brennan likes me. Kevin? Kevin likes me. Hey, Kevin likes me. He don't have me. legs. Bring him on. Don't leave him backstage. He don't even have legs. Come on. Come on. He can't, he can't, he can't stand there all day. <laughs> His legs will get tired. Bring him in. <laughs> I'd, right. lo I'd love to have a one-on-one -on -one with Kevin, man. I, I think that would go terribly. Like gay stuff? Like one-on-one -on -one <laughs> no. gay no. with him? Let's clarify. No, not fucking. No, not fucking. I just... Uh, I, like I, I mouth the peeing type, type deal? No, I, I think Kevin sucks a little bit, and I think that he... You're uh, hoping. He... <laughs> Thank you for letting me finish. He... He, he, I, he he's just terrible he's not good off the cuff like i'm not saying kevin can't sit down and write jokes dude if you and guys sat I, down in the same room and it was supposed to be funny haha -ha time you would be destroyed you would get you wrecked. think so i know nah, so i just yeah. i've seen the I guy know. in action too many times yeah, he's, he's a, fucking a, funny he's dude comedian. he's an actual yeah, you can't, comedian you cannot I take his funny away from him you Sorry, can't buddy. doubt it it's documented like, yeah, there's a bunch of these comedians in the podcast world that suck and have no timing or have no, uh, they're not fast witted or whatever. But yeah, not Kevin Brennan. No, sorry, buddy. Dude's hilarious. That's all there is to it. Yeah, I don't think he beats me. Um, Do you remember right. that well, like, delusion we were talking about earlier where like the like stuttering John levels of delusion? I confidence and anything. delusion, uh, confidence and delusion are not the same thing. Stuttering John is not graceful in defeat, which I would. Oh, there's another I word you can make up. You could call it collusion. <laughs> Comedy delusion, collusion. There you go. Why don't you just say that? I just Southern think collusion. that I'm better than a fucking sixty-five-year-old man that screams all the time. I'm saying that. <laughs> And everybody else in the world says you're not, so therefore you suck. I'm not even Take a Kevin it. Brennan fan, and I have I gotta say, Grant, you're funny, but you can't go around like funny how challenging bull. Funny ha ha. You know what or I mean? Funny like a funny like a funny clown. Do you, does funny he amuse lawyer. you? <laughs> uh, well, yeah, right. I I can go. No 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 no. Let's go ahead and uh, let's leave this episode right on the place where Lemmy left it. You're not funny, Granny. You're not funny. That's a perfect place to bookmark for the next episode. Granny's not funny. Hey, Adam, why don't we call this episode Granny Sucks? Granny Sucks. I wish she would have drowned in that pool. Uh, yeah, JJ. <laughs> Uh, anything you want to tell the folks to keep their eye open for, uh, there's your, there's your links. My stuff. Anybody, your stuff, uh, dude. What, what I there's said before earlier stuff. about, what I said before, uh, earlier about, uh, Kenny, that's, that will actually happen. So, uh, look out for that because it will be funny. And that's about awesome. it. Otherwise, if you just check out my stuff, it's all hockey stuff. So if you like hockey, just check out my. My channels. That's about it. And look Thank forward. You. And you're going to be doing stuff on Rumble, right? Yes, I have a Rumble show that's more, uh, you know, uh, political and stuff. I haven't um, been doing that for the past month or so, but I'm about to start going back to Rumble too. So um, I'm at, at band at band by YouTube at band, at band by YT. By YouTube. All right, yep. at band by YT. Right. Okay. Cool. Right. Uh, Thanks for having me on, guys. Yeah, thanks for coming on, brother. Appreciate it. Uh, Lemmy, what do you got in the morning? You going? 8.30? Yep, 8.30. Twitch, me, you, coffee, marijuana. Let's fucking do that. Put your favorite tunes in the chat. I'll probably play them. I'll probably talk over them, but I'll play them. Nice. And uh, Corn and Granny, you can find that. 
Did I just say corn and granny? I meant uh, chops <laughs> and granny. Sorry about that. One or the other. <laughs> well, that corn Same technically thing. is there as well. Mm-hmm. That corn diff? Uh, I'm that telling you, that cripplism is spreading to your goddamn brain, dude. <laughs> it's spreading to my mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Do your fucking plugs. Tell them about tomorrow, you idiot. Come on. Yeah, tomorrow we're going to have on a uh, fucking. Tomorrow we're going to have X Corp on, on WGNN. Oh, that will yeah. be 7 p.m. Eastern there, folks, where you can catch corn, Granny, and I. And uh, don't expect much. We just go off the cuff and, you know, we do our best to make it entertaining. There you go. Yeah, so come on in, take a seat, eat some popcorn, drink some beer, fucking suck a dick, whatever the fuck you gotta do, you know, keep yourself entertained. We're here. Chops, can you explain we- how why is Granny so bad at this? Chops, <laughs> explain it to him. Granny, just like me, is an enigma. <laughs> to fight my whole life I could beat you up even if you had 1,000 knives even if you had infinity knives I would punch you up into the air like a kite I bet you sleep with the night light cause you're scared of the dark cause you stink like a fart well I like your fart I'm fair with my rhymes you think I won't I do it all the time I bet I got more money than Jay Z Compared to me, Jay-Z is lazy Plus Beyonce thinks that I'm cute It's okay, Beyonce, I think you're cute too I made out with so many girls Made out with every girl in the world I might look small, but I'm not I don't care if you're big, I'll fight you Well, I do know that I am the baddest of them all if you ain't about money, then I don't mess with y'all Y'all think I don't get girls, cause I ain't very tall If she see my steps, I bet you that she calls Cause I am the baddest of them all If you ain't about money, then I don't mess with y'all Y'all think I don't get girls, cause I ain't very tall If she see my steps, I bet you that she calls